Hello and welcome to the internet. My name is Ian Higgins. Sam Perry sits next to me. And in many ways, I'm sitting next to him. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon to wherever you are across the world. Pezzy lad. <laughs> and I'm already getting feedback through um, through my computer. Great start. Ripping start. Um, Pez, good evening to you. Hey, mate. Good evening to you too. What a, uh, what a momentous occasion for TJC here as we... Put forward a product that is definitely not commentary. It's definitely not ball-by-ball ball commentary. If you've come here to get descriptions about what is happening in the cricket, you've come to the wrong place. Live descriptions aren't happening. Conversation about cricket mm. simultaneously mm. with what you might be seeing on your screens with various delays, mm -hmm. then you're in the right place. And you might have said that earlier today. Oh, I just want descriptions. I want friends. I want companionship. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to get aggers. Mm. Ball by ball. You're not going to get Ravi Shastri in his pomp saying things were like a tracer bullet. Things were like a tracer bullet. You're just getting a couple of mates, having a couple of beers, mm -hmm. talking about the cricket yeah, and other things about life. Um, because if we did ball by ball, that would be illegal. But ironically, we, we will be talking about many illegal things on the show. Hey, Dinesh Kartik looks good today, doesn't he always? Doesn't he always? And we'll get onto Dinesh's uh, yeah. his, his duck in village cricket. We'll get into that in a moment because further information has come in about this. Yep. Um, so that's exciting, the first point. But, Pez? Primary source material that we can actually lay on screen because this is a high-level production. So um, I just also want to say this is the first live we've done in a little while because um, obviously we're doing them during the IPL and then that stopped, if you recall that. Not forever, just for a little bit. But um, I want to say... A big thank you to the people out there because because of you guys and the super chats and the money that was donated, we were able to overall contribute. Uh, I think it was like seven and a half thousand dollars. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Seven and a half thousand dollars to our back pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Are they serious? No, that's uh, not true. That's not true. It was to um, it was to um. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. The Grant Company. Um, Act grants. Act grants. Act grants. Act grants. Act grants. Act grants. We keep saying it many times. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so seven and a half grand all up because of you guys out there uh, went to Act Grants who were um, donating. It was like oxygen um, to the good people. Oxygen in concentrators. Thank you. All thank across you. India. So thanks very much to everyone who did that. Here goes. Yeah. Toss news, team news. Because those who've tuned in to us, you've had 10 beers now, if this is what you're saying. Mm -hmm won't have known what's going on. They're just watching us exclusively. Mm -hmm. So what What can you tell the great people who want to know what's happening in the cricket? So what's happening in the cricket uh, is that coach has won a toss. He's won a toss. Joe yeah. Root threw that thing as high as the air could have possibly seen. Mm. He threw it to the moon and back and to the stars, uh, and and he called correctly. Uh, and India is going to have a stick. Yeah. India's going to have a stick, and that just feels right part of the program today. And we were, just, and we we're watching it just before we came on air, just yeah. to see Shane Warne's first piece of analysis. And uh -huh. Warne said, and he liked how aggressive mm. Coley was in just simply saying we're going to bat. Mm -hmm. Warne's a big vibe man like that. When are we ever going to get past the aggression? Why is everything going to be aggressive? Oh, he's won a toss, and he's aggressively said we're going to bat. He goes. Why can't we just have good players? Why can't, wanna, I, why can't I have nice things? Do you want to get in? Uh, the, aggression is the underlying theme of this test match. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's very meta of you to say. Do you want to talk about team news before we talk about, before we talk about aggression? Yeah, let's talk about team news. India is fucking unchanged, yeah. motherfuckers. I picked that team a month and a half ago. Exactly. We won the a, last game. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll beat you with the same team again. And that begs the question, what about R. Ashwin? What about Ravichandran Ashwin? Who? Which one's that? He got onto his YouTube channel the other day. <laughs> yeah. He tried to say some nice things about coach. They Too late. To coax his way into Too late. Team. You sledge him in the IPL. Chat shit, get hit. Same shit. Doesn't matter. You go out onto mm. the Headingley service the other day with all your gadgets and stuff and say, oh, coach, it's dry. It's dry. Mm. Sorry. Sorry, Ravichandran. <laughs> it's dry. It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. <laughs> At the end of day four, weren't people saying like us, um, Oh, Ashwin should have played. And then they won. They're like, nah, never play again. And then it's like, oh, this, this, this week could spin. Nah, don't worry about it. Whatever the easiest thing to say at the time is, yeah. I will say it. That yeah. is one thing that we will guarantee here on this show. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think, and I did predict this, mm -hmm. Coley's final, uh, like the, the, the setup for this test match yeah, what's goes, the setup? is that India have been on a big journey 
to ascend to the summit of Test cricket. Yep. Right. Yep. And along the way, yep. they've knocked over Australia at home and the Gabba. That fortress mm-hmm. is knocked over. It's done. We knew that the Asian century began there. There's all sorts of systemic things that support this, by the way, and are also on the decline mm-hmm. in your Anglo nations. India's got their but own G7 Astra- summit. Australia fell, and they knew that when they yeah. came over to England, yeah. you know, who? let's face it, that country dominated both of us in a way that <laughs> – <laughs> They knew when they went to England, it wasn't as much of a fortress as Australia, and yet they need they need to conquer it. And they won that game at Lords. Yeah, I remember that. And this game, I I feel like the floodgates are about to open. I Mate. feel like coaches want to toss, coaches waiting for runs. Ravi Chandra Ashwin, thanks for what you did in the last series. I've forgotten it already. England are on their knees. They're bringing in AC Milan mm-hmm. to try and get runs. He averages 27. Oh, Craig Overton's cricket. playing. Overton's in. Mm. England, are they are on the ropes here, waiting for a knockout blow. I'm calling 600 runs for India, coach yeah, yeah, double yeah. ton. It just feels it's it. over. It's feel, it feels it. If They're it, up in the north. It's the last stronghold. Headingly, the last stronghold. It's the last stronghold. But England don't play very well here. Uh, uh, no, stats don't actually bear out any of this stuff. Oh, I see. It's more feeling. Feeling. Yeah, it's vibe. Well, what the vibe is, is that Joe Root, who is single-handedly holding this team together like a fucking yoo stick or some strapping tape or things that hold other things together, he averages 36 at this ground. That's the lowest anywhere in the country. 36 at his home ground? Who's going to save them now? Is it going to be Bearstow? Maybe. Maybe. But probably not. But probably not. It's the time. And now colleagues want to toss. <sighs> I, I, I don't what are think, we doing here, Pez? I don't think this I don't think this test is about statistics anymore. Yeah, it's about what do you think it's, it's about? about characters. It's about yeah. narrative. Okay. This test. Yeah. Truly. Right. It's about the whole leading being Jimmy Anson throwing Joe Root under the bus about what happened in the last test. Yeah. He blamed himself for the mm. blow up at day three. So you, you saw there was a big report in the Telegraph. After day three, Boomer bumped Anderson 27,000 times. Anderson yeah, yeah. was scared. He's 39. And he, does, he shouldn't be dealing with Deliberate that. Deliberate no balls. Yeah. Yeah. Try and get me out. Roots hit 180 knot. Mm-hmm. They, go into the, they go into the long room. Mm. And must we point out mm-hmm. the position of the long room culturally in English psyche? Yeah. Long room. The long room is the fucking, the, the, it's, it's Hitler's basement. <laughs> yeah. It's the eagle's nest. It's the last stronghold. <laughs> That's the opposite. And and <laughs> and none of the members are there in their in their egg and bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coat and tie. Yeah. And Coley knows to strike. India's gone in there and sprayed El and, Barto on the walls. Okay. Here we go. They're against racism here, but it's not taking the knee. Okay. Uh so Chuck on a t shirt. Yeah, chuck on a t shirt. It's all good. Um, yeah, mate, you're right. And like, just the fact that he's won the toss and they're going to have a bat. It's religious intolerance. You know, they're actually talking about Azim Rafiq there. So that's a, there's another PR underlay, uh, oh, yeah. under, underpinning okay. theme okay. of okay. this entire test. It's covering as well. heavenly boys in this team for yeah. England. And they've, um, done, they've gone for a minute, they've gone for a minute Stowe, clap. Joe Root. Yeah. If Coley gets a hundred, I will tattoo my dick, says somebody. So let's I mean, just you get don't a, need to do that. Yeah. What, uh, why? What's that going to prove? Get a piercing first. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, worry about your arc. Is that is there a competition in India? And answer us here on the chat that's uh, moving really slowly and we can see it really well. Yeah, really clearly. Um, it's hardly any correspondence. Is there a competition to show who loves Virat the most? Because that would be a pretty good opening gambit. What, who loves Virat the most? What do you mean in the comments? Well, if you got, you've got, if you got him tattooed on your dick. Oh, can I look at the size of Sharma? Mate, how big is he? How big is Unchanged. he? Unchanged. There was a few beard trims during the week. It's exciting. <laughs> That's exciting. Anyone on the chat want to run us through the military hats? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm mean, truly. I just want to know the background. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Virat scarves. Imagine a Virat Joe Root half oh, and half. half and half. That can get in the bin. That can get in the bin. <laughs> Could you be one of the guys I'd selling go for, it? I'd go for a Rahane Godfather half and half. Yeah. That's what I'd go for. We should be we should be silent during the anthem, shouldn't we? Oh, go on, here goes. There's a close up of Muhammad Siraj singing the anthem. Anything you want to say? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. How tall's Coley, do you reckon? <laughs> oh shit, the chat just took off. <laughs> how how should uh 
How's she? How's sorry? How how tall's Collie? I said how's tall Collie? Someone uh-huh. someone's gonna tell me. Because I was looking at um. Everyone's writing. Are you drunk? No. 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 We're not drunk. So wild would be drunk. Jesus Christ! Call your jets. Um. Someone just said India is fucking trash at cricket. Uh, not sure about that. Not about that. I'm not I mean, sure about that. If you're gonna, if you're Probably gonna jump the best in in all formats, except tests and ODIs and maybe T20s mm. so. and and ICC sanctioned tournaments. <laughs> but apart from that, India is right at the top. Yeah. How are we going to look at any of these chats? <laughs> that is absolutely flying. And before you say that we can slow it down, we're using a third party tool. Mm. And that third party tool, as we're learning on this very pilot um production, I guess pilot inspired production. Yep. Um, we're we're learning that's something that we'll need to look at because we well, someone's talking about masturbation. So yeah, I, I picked that one up. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Your eyes are drawn to certain things. Mm. Hey, uh, let us know where you are right now in the world watching this. Yep. Uh, I want to know where you guys are from. I know, I know. There'll obviously be India. There'll be the US. There'll be England. There'll be Australia. There'll be our dear friends who are holding the giant lollipop down there in NZ. And fair play to our KB brethren. Uh, there'll be Canadians. I want to know where you guys are. Let us know. Let us know. Mate, so you you you're England here. You one nil down. Yeah. That. They- Virat has stormed the capital, aka yeah, yeah. the Lord's Long Room. Yeah. They've it sounds like India won that fight. I actually have some inside information. Yep. Uh actually it's not really. It's just Ali Martin was having Indian last night in Yorkshire and um Ravi Shastri sent over some food to him. No way. Yeah. I respect Adosa. Now Shastri, now there is a fucking Mate, big unit. I would it, when, How's the shoulders I, on that bloke? Just to lift the hood, Ali texts this to me. And he says, uh, Shastri sends over a doser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was a couple. Yeah. And uh, and all I could think was, how good would it be to sit in an Indian restaurant in, in Leeds or yeah. anywhere in India, anywhere, yeah. with Ravi Shastri? Have yeah. a whiskey. And I'd sit on the tube next to Ravi Shastri. Yeah, but just imagine an Indian restaurant. I wouldn't sit on a plane with him because he'd get the middle seat and then they'd be very uncomfortable. He'd legs everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be man-spreading. Um, Antarctica, uh, India, yeah. Canada, Dunedin, Dunedin, very good. UAE, yeah, France, very I saw, good. Oh, from say, saw Jervis Bay, oh, the territory of nice, nice. Indonesia, Afghanistan, Singapore, mm, ACT, yep. South Africa, all it's, good. You just read Apple Maps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just scanning, just scanning the universe. Moscow, mate. What? Uh, what's? Uh, I said this yesterday, but what's the bull case for England here? Like, are we about to watch a procession? As we just said, they're about to. They're zooming in with the drone. On the field, is this a, is this an Indian procession? You got Rohit mm-hmm. and KL Rahul opening mm-hmm. the batting. Mm-hmm. Standing between them is Jimmy Anderson. I mean, the, this game was close. The last test, it was close. And yeah. picking Overton was the correct decision, obviously. So keep my mood. You want the new movements, etc. Yeah. But Craig Overton's next cab off the rank. He bats a bit. He's next big. Cap. He's had some success at test level as well. Yep. If you're England here, you just and as a lot mm-hmm. of our Indian uh, audience will tell us. I know that you guys are very, very excited about where Indian cricket is going, and you should be. Yeah. Both yeah. because of the organization of the nation as yeah. well as the decline of your competitors. You've gamed the system. You've gamed Your competitors are in big trouble yeah. in lots of ways that's mm. uh, working its way into the cricket. But a lot of our audience will still tell us, he goes, mm-hmm. they still don't quite trust the Indian team well, because of history. Uh, yeah, well, they'd be right to – yeah, I mean, history shows everything. History does show everything. Much like Ravi Shastri having a couple of drinks. You know mm. what I'm saying? And on the tube. You won't hear that in the beast. <laughs> on the tube. <laughs> Ravi Shastri is actually a flasher. <laughs> that, that, that episode of Louie. <laughs> that was about Ravi Shastri. Um, <laughs> what the fuck's going on here with this oh, chat? I don't know, man. Christ alive. Know, we're being hacked by Russia again. Oh, no. um, anyway, um, first of all, that's me. But yeah, what, what, so you're asking what the big case for England is here. Well, I, the first thing they need to do is change the name of the long room because it's actually not that long. I mean, it's, I, I suppose it's, it's more widthy, isn't it? Right. It's not long. I just find the, 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 the base level nature of that as a name poor. Mm. I find it poor. Yes. But what, the, what, uh, how, how do England win this game, mate? I don't know if they can. Is that good it's just, for you? It, 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 whatever you think is going to happen in test cricket is, is not what happens. That's, that's the best thing going for England. That's right. At the moment. Um, we are not doing this ball by ball, by the way, everybody. Uh, and, but, but it is nice. Mm. I will just say this. Generally speaking, it is nice that you can see Jimmy Anderson run in, you know, it's going to swing away and it does. And I'll tell you what, on that first delivery there, Roe hits just a little bit outside of his body, but what does he do? He picks up one. 
I mean, the case for this game is that someone does something remarkable. And I feel like, I mean, Joe Root did something remarkable last game, right? 180 not out first inning is not good enough. So he needs more than one person to go with him. I didn't see that, sorry. Yeah, good. Um, he needs someone to go with him. And so two guys need to, do, need to have career best games for them to top. And then India need to fall apart at the seams. Look at Australia. So it's, it's a duality there of like two guys need to do something fucking incredible. 11 blokes need to fall over. Hey, thanks, Saurabh. Yeah, we know it's going out of focus. I'm coming back in on occasion. Appreciate it. Or is that just your eyesight? Exactly. What are you talking about? Uh, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Why has someone just put $100 billion in the chat? I appreciate that. Yeah. If you could donate that. Yeah. None of the money that comes in is going to any charity anymore. <laughs> Why did you need to say that? I just want to be really clear with the audience. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pez, uh, are we are we announcing who's on the show? Who's on the show? Who's on the I, stream? I think they should be surprise guests. Oh, uh, okay, so surprise guests. Should be surprise guests. Guest. We've got guest. a few. We've got a few guests coming on uh, okay. tonight, and they're guys that uh, have played at the highest level. Sure, they played at the highest level, and they're good friends of the show. Um, I want to I want to uh, discuss that apparently Darwin Milan. Um, Darwin Milan apparently has been labelled as selfish. That's why they don't like him. Like they, they being like the, the the English team is like a little bit of an outsider. The chat is apparently a bit selfish. Like isn't cricket the single most selfish game? I'm not even talking about like to your own teammates. Like obviously bat long, do whatever you want. It's an individual sport. Masquerading is a team sport. No one cares how the team goes. If you do well, 30 in a losing side, job fucking done. That'll get me through the summer. Selfish in the sense that you have to sacrifice friendships, relationships, relationships with your family, holidays. What are you doing for Christmas? Oh, I'm going to train. I've got nets this hey, afternoon. Ex- if there was – if being a top three batsman in test cricket actually had a job description. Yeah. If it did. That, that HR puts together a JD. It goes out onto seek.com.au or right. the Indian English equivalent. Yeah. You know? Getwork.com. What's the Indian dot? Is it I? No, it's not I. I-N. I-N, is it? I-N. Let us know. Yeah. So Australia's AU, New Zealand's NZ. Yeah. Guys, for those who are saying in the chat, the third-party tool we're using doesn't permit us to put it on slow mode. Okay. Thank you. So if it had a JD and, you know, it says, oh, these are our, this is our mission, this is our values, here's the the job description, Mm. here's the sorts of people we're looking for, respond respond with your cover letter according to this. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. England in the game here. Hang on a second. Is there a boil over happening? Probably not. Probably just a small hiccup. Probably just a small hiccup. Anderson. Anderson gets one back over the angriest man in Test cricket. That's a shot. Rahul. That's a shot of a man who believes the Asian century is already secured. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it's a third ball of the game. Oh, Joe Root claps his hand. Claps his hand. It's like Jamie Lannister. He's got one hand. Mm. Niche Game of Thrones reference. I'll for tell you. you. I'll tell you what. Go on then. Tell on me that, what. On that, on that JD. Tell me. Yeah, Jay Dernback. <laughs> on that. Here's J- the bowler. The, the number one thing would be selfish. The number one, the number one item on that JD to respond to would be selfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me a top three batsman. Yeah. That wasn't selfish, and I'll show you a park cricketer. <laughs> I'll show you a failed. When people say Milan's a bit self, AC Milan's a bit selfish. AC Milan. Like, okay, great. So he's in the team. Um, this is, uh, by the way, this is actually a ball by ball description of the uh, West Indies Pakistan game. <laughs> Just We're just kicking know. off the preview coverage about six <laughs> hours early. <laughs> and it didn't finish yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it did. It's already finished. We're just recapping the yeah, highlights. That's... We're doing a ball by ball of the highlights of day five of West Indies, Pakistan. <laughs> hey, Shay and a Freddie bowl, well, I thought. Didn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> uh, it's dot .in, apparently. Dot I'm just I look, yeah. Alana's on demon time. What the fuck does that mean? Now, this is interesting. Oh. Now, this is interesting. Jiteshwa Pajara. He's played this ground many times. Put the super chat on your phone, says somebody. Interesting. That's some good lateral thinking. Mm-hmm. But I can't click it and bring it on screen. You know, that was one of the features of this third-party tool that we've selected. Mm-hmm. In terms of aesthetics about who is the best-looking wicketkeeper in world cricket, where does Joss Butler rank? 
as a wicket keeper. Uh, well, doesn't factor all, in the batting. He's not even number one in his country. Ben Folks. Ben Folks. But he's Ben Folks is number one. But he wears black gloves. Folks? Yeah. You've got a problem with that. So I'll Big defer problem. to you because you kept. Sure. It, to me, it feels fine. A, a black is a great contrast with white, and I say that as a colorblind man. Yeah, well, there's your first problem. Yeah, it is a problem. So I reckon, disability. I reckon Tim Payne is up there for pure cleanliness, and that's going to upset a lot of people, and I say good. It's just about the pure aesthetic of the wiki keeper. So it's got to be like the, the entire package. The entire package. Don't worry about what they're like as a gloveman, the batting, what they're like as a bloke. doesn't matter. I'm talking about the pure that, that, aesthetic. That, but that, 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 that's part of the aesthetic, isn't it? What, the, the, the vibe around them. Their entire package. No, 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 no. You just want the look. I want the look. So if you were looking at them, you knew nothing about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Nothing about them. Perfect. They're just an object. Yeah. If you were to objectify yeah, a wicket keeper. That's right. It's like walking down the red light district in Amsterdam. And what am I, what's, and, and what's good? Is good just hot or just, the, just, no, what's no, your no. criteria? No, you don't have to want to fuck them. <laughs> sorry. No, don't be sorry. This is going to go where it needed to go. <laughs> okay. It's a I pilot. Think, yeah, they get after there's, one nothing, there's nothing wrong in, wrong in brainstorming. Yeah. If the BCCI take things. us down, yeah. it won't be because we're doing ball by boards because of that. Um, hey, if you know, you got my number and you want to come on the show. <laughs> we're, actually think, Pez. we're actually thinking at some point of putting the link on to join the show and just chucking one of you on. See if you, you see what you got. Mate, I'm, I'm on, mate, I'm on some list at the moment because I'm getting like about 15 junk messages a day. Mostly from my friends. Mm. No, but like, no, Jack's like with like dirty hyperlinks in them and shit. I'm on some list. <laughs> I'm on a list. Looking forward to the people who review our uh, this live stream and go, well, uh, India were one for one and uh, turned on and he goes, was talking about his junk mail. <laughs> <laughs> Some about text messages. Ollie Robinson taking the new ball. Ollie. How do you feel about that? It doesn't quite, he doesn't feel ready to me. He wasn't ready. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't. I'm I think not... as soon as Michael Vaughan said that there's Josh Hazelwood about him, yeah. I think, I think uh, Jets, ne well, the Jets needed to be called. Uh, across England, but they haven't been. Tell you what, is it uh, Manali's just said one one, uh, uh, one for one. Sorry, I've read I've read you've saying the score is like you, you, you've it's given, one one. You've given up the series. You've given up this game. It was like fucking hell. Well, that that was a that, gentle that went at about 115 k's. Now, please show us how quick that ball was. <laughs> to be fair, you got a wicket with that in the last game. Hey, I reckon Rob, Robinson's adjusting the Test cricket here, going like I've just got to. Go. I mean, it's a nine day gap with this game. It's so a, a bit more of a gap, but he he looked tired after the second Test, didn't, didn't he? he? He looked tired. Um, and I say that as a man who's in his absolute physical peak. It's difficult for us with Ollie Robinson because he played grade cricket. You see, yeah, yeah, he played yeah. it. He played at the club I played at, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's that's the order it goes in. So that means you're and, playing this game. Well, what it means is that his name was in the paper as O Robinson at one point, and that kind of yeah, diminishes yeah. you if you're going to play Test cricket. Mine's it, oh, Baba. <laughs> oh, Baba. <laughs> that was a different thing. That was an orgasm. Uh, uh, Ollie Robinson needs about three overs to warm up I here. I'll tell you what, he looks, he stiff, looks as like a, he, stiff, stiff as, as a board. board. Stiff as a board. Like stiff as a board. Now, who's carrying a board around? A board of control for India, that's who. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, well, yeah, yeah. Hey, he would be stiff looking at this team. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean rigid in terms of their COVID regulations. Um, uh, I'm glad I can't see this chat. Hey, um... Do you want to do you want to talk about the quotes from Jimmy Anderson? We sort of alluded yeah, to it earlier the quotes the quotes from Jimmy Anderson. I do um, on his oh, he was on Tail Enders. Yes, um, that's his podcast, and it's a good podcast. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. No, no, sorry, I was sorry, I was reading the thing. No, you're right, it's a good podcast. Um, uh, yeah, I forget these. He's exactly. I got him here. Oh, you got him. Read him out. The emotion got the better of me, and I felt I had to say something. I felt bad for doing that, and this is when they go back to the long room, right? I feel bad for that because it drew attention away from Rooty, brackets Joe Root, celebrating in an amazing <laughs> innings as he came off the field. Right. I apologize to him afterwards for that, but the emotion got the better of me. It happens sometimes. He goes on to say about coach. Yeah. Uh, it was actually he was actually saying that like he played with other guys like Peterson, Swan, Pryor, and Broad, mm -hmm. who were a lot mm -hmm. more combative than the current team. He's sort of suggesting the current team isn't as alpha as they need to be. And he says they were similar to Coley in some respects. They liked the battle on the field. Now we go about our cricket in a different way. So I have to remember that Mate. when I'm on the field. It is pointless just one person getting into a fight with someone. Uh, and then he says we have to remember Virat is averaging 20 in the series, proving we've by well at a great player. But I was rather he was averaging 80 and we were 1-0 up. Oh. Mate, I'm sorry. Now, mm. 
if Jimmy Henderson was right here, he'd be a cracking beer, I reckon. Yep. He's probably a really nice guy. I'm yep. sorry. He fucked up that last game so badly. And also, there's a thing here. We talked about selfish before. He's talking about, like, they're just like, oh, there's no point one guy taking on the team. I'm sorry. He was one guy trying to take on the entire team because he obviously got upset with Boomer. He got in the dressing room. He goes, oh, they're having a go at me. And then the entire England team took that out onto the last day in the field, and they fucked it up massively. Yep. And also, last year or two years ago, Stuart Broad, was talking about how, well, you know, the bowlers can do their thing, but the batsmen have got to do their thing as well. You know, like he was talking about how the batsmen aren't scoring enough yes. runs. Like, yeah. what yep. sort of fucking team are these guys living in? We're like, no, nah, we're doing the best thing ever. We're the best guys that have ever played this game. Can someone else do the job? I mean, that might be the private conversations that you're going to have, but publicly, you can't say that shit out loud. Like, Jimmy Anderson needs to take more responsibility for how much he fucked it up. Also, he was blaming Joe Root for um, bowling Mark Wood, and he said that I should have bowled instead of Mark Wood. But Jimmy Anderson came on and was started bumping Boomer. Jimmy Anderson was bumping Brewer. Silly. Silly, wrong. Take, take some responsibility. I say that, he's probably a lovely man, and he'd be a cracking beer. Thoughts? He's, he, he, he blames other people. But that's in vogue in politics. That's what I mean. He blamed other people. He's got 627 test match wickets. Blamed other people. Just some responses to the earlier question before we resume with Jimmy Anderson. Yeah, yeah. About keeping aesthetics. Yeah, yeah, please, please, please. But John, Sims, John Simpson. Yeah. Uh, Tim Payne with blonde, blonde streaks. Blonde streaks, yeah. They like. Yeah, early Tim Payne. Yes. Yep. Um, like de debut Tim Payne. I don't think this is to do this. This one's to do with the keeping. Just for God's sakes, we need a Coley daddy. Yeah, okay. It's less to do with the wicket keeping. Yep. Sandrew Sampson. Yep. Sandrew mm -hmm. Sampson. John Simpson. People keep talking about John Simpson. Um, now, I, just just an answer to this question. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's not rendering because it probably doesn't want me to say it. Mm -hmm. Do you own any other hat than a khaki car hat? No, I don't. Well, okay. That's really ruined the rhythm of the conversation, hasn't it? What's that song? It's the rhythm of the Nile or the night? The night. Yeah, the yeah, Nile. It's, not the, it's not the Nile. Yeah, the killing Although I, I'd, I'd imagine the Nile does have a rhythm. <laughs> well, after a couple of beverages under the, under the stars, under the Southern Cross, I stand. Think of waddle in my hand. <laughs> Is that? I've got. We've got it. We've got some vision. <laughs> um. Uh, to that end, but uh. He goes, it might, it might be time, actually. I've got to find where the fuck, where the fuck is. Uh... Oh, mate, take it forever. It was, no, but how do, I get, how do I get that off? Oh, I don't know. I've, I've, I've lost it. Or do I have to just keep clicking on chats now? That's what I have to do. Whatever this is. Joining from the Netherlands. Cheers, brother. Sahil, respect. Now, do you reckon it's time to bring in a, uh, a guest? Well, if we've got one. Let's see who it is. What overlay do we want here, mate? Do we want the background or do we want to, to go big? Well, I'm also I'm also taking taking bets on um can someone let me know in the comments how many balls it's gonna take Pajara to get off the mark? Currently he's faced three rocks. What are, what are we guessing? What are we guessing here? Mm. Fifteen, we're looking at thirty again. Hooping around, just doing it, he's doing a job, he's gonna get through Anderson. Just conversing with our special guest here, guys. What was your what was your weakness as a batsman? In swing or out swing? <clears throat> oh, For me, it was all of it. I was going, anything at the stumps. Going across, going across, hit on the pad. I uh, set you up like four yeah, four away, one in. Too worried about off stump, outside off stump. Someone just come in, bang, get me. I yeah, hit, yeah. hit across the line. Yeah, hit me in the pad. Yeah, whatever. I was a big I, I, didn't, I didn't get I didn't get bowled a lot. I didn't. No, nick, I, I, didn't I didn't nick off a lot. I, I just play. I play across. Yeah, my head often got. Too far across. Yeah. Fall well, over. Well, let's bring someone in who knows a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, we'll ask him about it, actually. Yeah. What his weakness was. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh... Someone said 24, 89, 89 balls, 17, 21, 16, 50, 55. I'd, I'd get behind a 55 ball zero here. All right. Shall we? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, said Cowan, uh, 18 tests for Australia. We'll Amongst other things, he's on other things. How, how does it, how does it feel to be the first guest on uh, this extremely innovative new product? Am I in? I was, You're I was in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, couldn't hear a word. Anything? Not sure. This technology's just for me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. we're Chris, going. We're on. Still we're live. Yeah, you are broadcasting to the world, mm. and the people want to hear so from Ted Cam. Oh. 
they're in for a treat. I mean, this, come on, <laughs> as you know, the whole mm-hmm. humorous, I don't have much of a humorous side. And so, you know, the national broadcast, they get me on for the serious, yeah. the analytical, the technique stuff. So I, I, I might be a bit dry for you tonight. But I, I mean, I probably want to start with a little bit of uh, housekeeping in regards to what the fuck are you wearing? He goes, is that a black denim jacket? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> I'm, I, I have I mean, never hot. <laughs> said, man, I, I actually, I'm in a state of shock. I'm in more of shock than to come in, turn my TV on and see England already have a little Doing nibble. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Doing okay. What are, you, what are your early impressions of the game that, uh, legally speaking, we're quite afraid to make any descriptions about? Yeah. Oh, get it. I was wondering what the vibe was here. You can't hear. It's just yeah. got to be on the background. So it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not Robinson to Rohit. Dot ball. <laughs> it's not Jim Maxwell. Uh, it's yeah. Jim Maxwell commentating with Jeffrey Boycott touching knees together. No. Uh, while Which we did uh, see one. Oh, okay. Mm. Because Before you, you literally gave me, you you gave me the story the whole time. Mm. No brief. What the story was here. So legally, nothing can be discussed around Dot ball. Robinson. Nip one down. Just, <laughs> just, just nip one oh. back. Row hit forward press. No run. Where 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 are you where where are you at? How many overs? Oh, what are we looking at? That is delicious a little outswing. Just showed him the, the nip back yeah. and then. So if we're so if, that, YouTube, if our YouTube's down for two weeks, it'll yeah. be probably because of what's just happened in the last thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm over three point one. That was I'm, I haven't thought much of this bloke as a bowler, but my word, that is a delivery. Mm. Did you ever come across Ollie Robinson in grade cricket? Who do you play for? Or- he the played Tigers. for the Tigers and then St. George. Did he? Change clubs. Oh, he's one of those blokes. A bit like you, Pez. Mm. The old double, the double clubber. Yeah, double clubber. Yeah. So what are the what are the topics for tonight? Well, Questions, are they allowed to post the score? What's the, give me some guide rails as to, you know, what's legit here and what isn't. Okay, I have two questions immediately. Um, so I want to get your take, Ted, on blokes dressing up for the cricket. Oh, the worst. I mean, <laughs> imagine going to the Sydney test. I mean, it's a bit like dressing up as the Fonz on your own podcast in the black T-shirt. That's right. Black kind of That's denim. Right. Do you, do you have the right. denim tracksuit on? Can you stand Nick, up? Nick, I want to see. Do, do you Nick, have the Nick, denim Nick. pants on as well? I know what this is about. I know what this is about, Ed. And, yes, so, we'll be together um, again. I love you as well. Stop so, negging me. I've been more <laughs> my entire life. God, can you wear your baggy green? I was actually going to wear it as a laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm going get to get it. It's not overlay yes. music and stuff. We've got yeah. Matthew Hayden playing True Blue. We just needed a little <laughs> interlude. Exactly. And for that reason alone, we might just stick with the uke, you know. Um, so dre- back to the original question. Dressing yeah. up at the cricket, Yeah. don't get it. It's a zero um, out of ten. I just – I give always me, think – Give me one reason. Like, no, I always think it's like it's funny on the way to the ground. You probably get a few like elbows being like on the tube on the way. They've been like, oh, not, not bad, boys. And then you get, you get there and it's like, oh, yeah, three sessions of this plus breaks. It can't be comfortable. Oh. Must be an absolute nightmare. Been, you've been, imagine, I mean, it's a bit different in England when it's pissing with rain half the time and it's 16 degrees and you actually need the Barney Flint, the Barney slash, uh, mm. the Barney rubble, Fred Flintstone, mm. just to keep yourself warm. But imagine sitting at the Sydney test in the Richies with the wig, the makeup, dripping sweat. Mm. Yeah. Oh, like why wouldn't you go for the breezy linen? I've just you seen a guy members, on Twitter. You go for the floral <laughs> linen mm. with the, the full alcohol beer, kick yeah. back, relax. Yeah. I love that we've got a, a, a guy that played 18 tests for Australia and actually many of them against India 
And the first question you had to him was, what do you think about guys who dress up at the cricket? Because that's actually how we, uh, how we roll. Mm. Ed, that's right. Do you subscribe to the, um, to the paradigm? LW up here, too high. You just know straight away. You, you be a good umpire. You and Gunnar Gould. Mate. Do I have some Gunnar Gould story? What, what, what's the what's the issue around defamation on on the live stream? <laughs> Same as the potty. This is uh, <laughs> it's up for debate. Currently, you know how yeah. we, we do the podcast, and I listen back and say, you know that? Can you actually take that out? So <laughs> yeah, no, this is live. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, do you subscribe to the paradigm of uh, the? the Asian century and uh, India being at the very top rising as the Anglo nations decline because of, uh, you know, technological and other advances, meaning that cricket is not important at all. Oh, gone. Oh, gone. Hang on. As I say that. Are you joking? Well, well, well. I'm on a delay. Chiteshwar scratched off. Yeah, he scratched off. He made a flowing one from nine deliveries. Look at that. See you later. But. And, and this well, is well, just, hang, on, well, hang on, look where I'm at. I'm only here. Oh, he's just nicked it. He's just nicked how it. How weird. Yeah. So we're, we're actually further away from the game than you are, but. Mm. I think, um, look, we might cop some abuse in the chat here, but this bloke mm. is batting so timidly. Yeah. For a guy that is good, have you ever seen anyone dude? more like you, you can literally tell he's going to go simply by his body language like he is the ultimate club cricketer Chiteshwa. Uh, yeah. yeah i want like to ask he you he comes take... out and he's either like a lion and he's you know strutting yeah. around or he's like this little timid pussycat he's such a good player but that's interesting take because like because when we saw him in australia like he uh, batted just time and time and time and time and wore us down, wore us down. But do you think like batting in England, you can't really have that same game plan because there's a ball coming with your name on it? Is that is that what you're talking about? Or is it just pure body language? I think, well, I think for him, he, um, the body language is reflective of how he's mentally attuned to his own game. And so mm. he's timid at the moment because he knows that he's battling away. And he mm. is, he's now batting. Like, how is this bloke batting for his spot on the team? I'll tell you yeah. how they've got about a million batsmen in the queue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have just 45. Speaking of the Asian, Asian century. Yeah. He, he's coming. He's going to drop to number 45th best batsman in India. Yeah. yeah. Do you think he's playing for his spot in the next innings now, regardless of what happens this innings? Yeah, I think he is. What are the, I mean, the stats are pretty much hasn't scored, a, hasn't scored a 50 since Australia. Yeah. He hasn't scored a hundred since, right? since, um, two times they came out ago. He got 190 at the SCG. That was his last 100. In Test cricket? Yeah. Two, se two, se two series ago? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's under the pump. Mm. Sad, but true. God but thankfully, him. and this was our hope, that Virat Kohli would beat the crease while we were talking to you. Yeah. S speaking of no hundreds. <laughs> God, we just lost thirty thousand subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a um, yeah Rahul Kambi? Who is this guy? Good question. Mm. Um, Do you think the, there's a correlation between having a baby and no test hundreds for Vera? Oh. Well, like for, for for someone who is like uniquely mm. driven and so yeah. in in his own mind yeah. the whole time yeah. he's mm. had to actually give some of that to something yeah. else it, i'm probably the best guy to talk about yeah, yeah. Right, yeah what do you think about that yeah well i noticed that alex carey's also just racing out a kid and um he's also got no test hundreds so and josh inglis is in yeah that's so mm. keep that in mind ted i mean would you would could i what put it to you kids here goes <laughs> How are they doing? yeah we don't talk about that i'm sure they're watching this it's fair to say, Ted, isn't it, that, you know, once you have a child that you realise that uh, your life is no longer your own, you know, you're the second, uh, you, you, you're not, a, you're not nowhere near the top when it comes to priorities in life. And then how does that impact your uh, your test cricket? I mean, I know for me, when Ted, when my little boy, Ted, came along, I actually scored 123 um, at the Royal Arturia, really the authors. 
but um, that wasn't test cricket, so it yeah, doesn't really yeah. apply. But it was first class game. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been first class in England. Um, the <laughs> I do th- oh, everything's a first class game over there, isn't it? Eaton play Harrow in the annual first class fixture warm up game. Yeah, at yeah, Prince Philip, hey, that's, that's a good right. Standard. The Duke of the Duke of Norfolk eleven. Oh yeah, that's it's good first class hundred. Um, the <laughs> he rests in peace. Five minutes to midnight. <laughs> good forty. <laughs> no, my point was around yeah. So the baby thing. So yeah. that, but also just think about the lack of. So you go from a little cruisy 10 hours sleep get back from training feed mm-hmm. up yes all of a sudden five hours sleep interrupted uh no time is, to is he doing know, that or is he, is he working on his puma deal i don't know it, it'd be a good him. question to figure out wouldn't it it'd be like what, what sort of involvement do you have as a father at this point in your career yeah mm. you know well, like like because he'd obviously have the resources for people to make sure that his child is is doing well, but uh, mm-hmm. but is he is he training then having his ten hours sleep and putting his feet up and ensuring he's good to go? It's and if possible. he fails here, then, then you got an angry wife. Then you got an angry wife. It's just not it's not it's worth it. I think. Just. But Ed, can I just say in in like on the flip side in footy here in Australia, when guys have kids, they end up playing better because they say my kids giving me some perspective. You know, it's lifted a lot of pressure off them. Well, I I actually have something else to worry about now, and I'm relaxed and relieved. It doesn't apply to cricket, it feels like you're saying. Yeah, because football goes for one hour every week, and you train for Mm -hmm. two, and then you go away, get your snooze in on the Friday night, and then you go home, and, you know, like it's a bit different when you've got five days, your kid hasn't slept. It's a disaster. Well, to be fair, if you're 40, Particularly zero to two. After two, you're fine. Yeah. (laughs) I look at Ravi. He looks happy. <laughs> Look at those shades. Are they officially like... speed? De- are they new age speed dealers? Sorry. Yeah, I think, they are, I think they are. I think they are. I think they're new age speed dealers. I want to ask you, Ted. You've you've played a lot of cricket in the UK. How, how many games at Headingley? Uh, I reckon only two. Two, and the both before they re like before they redid the grandstand. Oh, okay. Actually, that's a lie. I played one one day game in the new. Why well, I've erased it from my memory. They made yeah. one of the great errors of all time. Like, think about building a new grandstand, ability yeah. to turn it on for the players. The yep. viewing window is yep. the size of your computer well, that you're looking into now. So they all really? run high. You can't see the ground. It's the most ridiculous thing. It's about this wide. And so instead of having these. You know, beautiful sitting areas. Yeah, the old Yorkies just completely stuffed it. You're better right. off going across the road and watching the rhinos turn it on. <laughs> What's uh? I like that we're talking about architectural errors of um, of Headingley. You know, what are some of the I'm architectural not, yeah. triumph around around the world of cricket? Well, I've got some other architects. Oh, please. Please, Sorry, please, let's cover them please, off. Let's yeah, cover yeah. them off first. Yeah, yeah, and then and then and oh. then we'll get to the the triumphs. Huge error. You will appreciate this, Pez, for sure. But on the little island of Dominica, which uh, yes, is oh, Dominica, yeah, yeah, Dominica. Uh, I think the town is Rousseau. I think they pronounce it in French, where they obviously speak French in Dominica. But mm. they needed a new ground. And water third world country what are we going to do well you wouldn't believe but the chinese ioc were keen to get a couple of votes for for the beijing olympics this is all hearsay i don't know if it's fact or not Mm. but this is just the word on the street and so obviously all the west indian are independent countries and they give them one vote at the ioc what are you doing is that a little malbec you've got going what is it that's pino pino Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so uh, they did the old Yarra or Tasmanian. Is it's Yarra Valley? The the, oh, the label is Yarra Junction. Top of the top of the shelf. You guys are moving up in the world. Anyway, so we're in Russo. The super they need chat a new money. stadium. <laughs> yeah, super chat money. Uh, they need a new stadium. Can't afford it. 
the old uh, Belt on the Road initiative, let's call it. Yes. Cash for comments, cash for stadiums, cash for votes. Will you vote for the Beijing Olympics? Will build a stadium. Deal. Shake hands. So the Chinese, <laughs> they come and build a, they come and build a new stadium. Two things happen. One, you'll appreciate this. The entire change room of sorry, the whole uh, pavilion floor is made of marble. So imagine cricket spikes and marble. They don't go hand in hand. That is like, yep. You get it. Can't think of can't think of the analogy right right this second. But let's call it Malibu and Coke. It just doesn't work. Yeah, right, Got it. Right, and right, so right. slip. It's like a slippery slide. So they've had to then put these cheap ass mats. The other error that they made was all the instructions for the scoreboard. Two for forty-two. West Indies are six for forty. <laughs> Hey, I feel like I'm on ABC Grandstand talking about this. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is great. So, so they're in they're in Mandarin. So not no one on the island. They speak French. They don't speak Mandarin. And so they've had to relocate two human. I mean, what's human capital in China? Nothing. They've relocated two people, taught them the game of cricket, who are now the scoreboard operators in Rousseau, Dominica, <laughs> permanently. Because no one else can work the scoreboard. <laughs> that is extremely high brow <laughs> as an anecdote. That is <laughs> the highest of brow you could possibly get. I should have been wearing a tuxedo, not a fucking denim jacket. I'm, I'm, I'm underdressed. <laughs> that is that is high level. <laughs> but I, that's high level. But was it, is like. that the vibe right? Oh, like, I just don't know the vibe after right? we're going for, for, for chops and pull shots. <laughs> chops and pull shots. What's the anecdote you got for chops and pull shots? Nah, none. It's not, my, not my style. Yeah, fair. Are you, uh, Cowan? Uh, were you? Would you sit up for a session or two watching this test realistically, or would I be? Would I be? Would I be staying up? I'd like. Yeah. It's usually past my bedtime. The only thing that keeps me out of bed past about mm. nine is English Test match cricket. 10 o'clock, yeah. don't bother for the lunch 40 minutes, yeah. but yeah. never see the second session. Yes. Straight yeah. on to cricket.com.au to get the highlights in the morning. You know the yes. vibe? Yes. Um, we watch the whole thing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. And yeah. then it's... blog about it for 100 bucks. Yeah. But if I mean, is there, is, there any better, is there any better cricket than the test cricket in the UK? Bat and ball in balance. No, you played. You, you played. played. You literally played there. Uh, not from out. I mean, bat, bat and ball balance is is doesn't doesn't get better, does it? Nothing comes close, actually. I agree. Could not agree with you more. Oh, poor Pachesh. Oh, he's sitting there just brooding. Are you getting this footage? He's inside. Yeah, his yeah. Head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just sucking on a on a Lucas aid. Can you can you give who us do you, who do you like more, Jimmy? Or Vera, and can you like both? Ooh. Is it Team Jimmy, Team Vera? Like they're very similar characters, aren't they? In a lot of ways. That's yeah. why I don't like each other. They're too so similar. They, yeah. they, 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 they could, would never they could, be able to go out. They could never date. They could never date. They could never date. I've been saying this for ages. It'd be amazing. Unless, yeah, unless yeah. they were the sorts of personalities yeah. that wanted to marry themselves, it'd just be sex, just physical. You'd see them. You'd be like, "You guys are like brother sister," and then it'd feel weird. And sometimes the sex would be good, and sometimes mm. it wouldn't. It'd be like stepbrother stuff. Hmm. What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm feeling that. Do you reckon I'm we're getting that. more views now than ABC Grandstand gets? Are you joking? That is the, like, how do you think the nation gets their cricket fix? Do you think it's listening to Warney behind a paywall? No. <laughs> it's on the wireless, Sam. This is Listening to well. the voice of summer, Corbin Middlemass. Shout out to Corby. He's no doubt watching. Shout out, hey, shout out to Corby. Corby does well. I like Corby. <laughs> help so, help I Jimmy, Corby. I'm stuck. <laughs> is, that, is that what I think it is? <laughs> uh, uh, would you poke Coley in the eye? Yes. Oh, Do you think dear. That is the chat adding any value to this? Absolutely. Let's let's not do the evaluation on air. Now we've got we, what we can see on screen. Ed is is uh, Sir Jeffrey Boycott. Mm. 
47 points. Rubbish, that is. Rubbish. Can't play cricket in England like that. That's rubbish. Ruin your silly bugger. <laughs> Who's he sitting next to? Quick. Would you, are you in, would, the, in, in the old style speed dealers. Look at those. Speed dealers. Oh. Are you liking that? What? Who, who thinks, you know what? I'm going to put a nice, crisp Charles Turret shirt on. Maybe a little navy jacket. And should I go for the Ray Ban Wayfarers? No, 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 no. I'm going to go for the Sunnies I played cricket in in 1985. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that was weird. See that the race was a fair bit. That's because their eyes are rolling in their head. This is just, I mean, he's a six year old man. That's just <laughs> odd. Have you been to a test match in England um, since you last literally played in one? And if so, what did you wear? <clears throat> probably, sh probably shouldn't tell this next story. Uh, that's there, the best story. Let's see what okay. happens. Let's, let's see what go. Happens. Yeah, we'll put it out there. Um, and we'll just delete it. We'll no, I, it I mean, I haven't been to it. So I, so I got dropped after the first test in Nottingham. First test, of the Ashes. Second test at Lords. Family had flown over. Full bit. Pretty exciting time. Test match at Lords dropped. Cheers. Um, you get a day off for on those tours like you obviously the glove man for michael clark every 10 seconds for all the other days mm -hmm. but you do get a you do get a day off and that day off i was like bugger it i'm gonna sit in the stands and drink pims at lords with my two brothers that have flown all oh. the way around the other side of the world wow yeah so a little put the disguise on baggy green blank shirt. Yet. um <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. You know, full, 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 full supporters Blade. gear <laughs> yeah, for the full sport. Pop, are you going to use it? <laughs> Out the back at Lords on the PMs. Absolute delight. What sort of. Sorry, so if you're, if, you're a, if you're literally a player in the Australian squad at Lords, you miss the game, but you're able to watch it with your brothers and stuff. Like, what sort of seat do you get at Lords in that situation? Mm. Like, yeah. Mm. Have you got a pass? Like, what are you, are you with your brothers? Have they still had to buy tickets? I just really want to know the logistics of that. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I, I think they were they were team tickets, so we're with all the families. So I couldn't like shit can the bloke and take my spot at all. It was really awkward because obviously yeah. I wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, for those, it was, it was really a nice day out. I bet. Oh, Pims. Mm. We did that, didn't we? Mm. Did yeah. We. Yeah. I feel like I've done it. Yeah. I tell you what. Um, um, and this is kind of a bit off topic, but kind of on topic, but I've, I've been binging a bit of Ted Lasso lately. And like the big, it's quite an emotional show, as you know, but the big emotion that over overcomes me is all I want to be doing is going to a beautiful English pub, having a couple of pints and then going to the cricket I like that, you know, the little village style and you have your yeah, pints yeah. and you watch the football yeah, yeah. and you go to the cricket yeah. and like the yeah. sun doesn't go down till 11 and there are yeah, yeah. people aren't wearing clothes in the square. Yeah. I'm like overcome with that yeah. deep connection with a land that isn't mine. It's very odd. Well, mm. that's where we're all from, really. Mm. Let's do it. Let's get jabbed, double jabbed. Yeah. When do you reckon we're able to travel anywhere? Let's. I say we go get we get double jab. We go oh, play shit. for a village team. We'll score some runs on a Sunday. Oh, like <laughs> what more could any? What more could anyone go go to the Catherine Wheel and have a couple of pints afterwards? <laughs> carry on, tell stories how well we batted. Well, Honestly. well we we um we've talked about maybe like like TGC sponsoring a team or something in the UK. So perhaps we could do that mm. and then yeah, head like over. Shing star. Well, I don't yeah. know if you caught this, Ed, but um, Dinesh Kartik, who's obviously a current player, but also commentating, and everyone says he's a great commentator because he's got good shirts and the tats and stuff, um, yeah. played, a, played a game, um, played a game of cricket, uh, village cricket, and uh, he mm. wore his gold KKR lid. Of course he did. Um, while did, playing. did he tape it up? Did he tape well, it up? Tape gold lid. Well, Taped up. We're not sure because <laughs> I'm just going to chuck this. I'm not sure how this is going to render on screen. There's the scorecard. There's num number three, KD Karti. Oh, there were runs to be had that day. LBW Grundy. So uh, Grundy, Grundy's had a day out. Can, four, you, can you see that, Ed? I can. Only with yeah. four prunes. Yeah, so he's got what naught. BJ Watling's younger brother, 31 off 61. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> held, held the team together. And of course, you are playing Village Cricket in England unless the whole barrel in your team. And I think it was Hamil- yeah, yeah. Was that Hamilton Brown or Jason no, was- Smith. <laughs> Can I just say, so I actually ended up, I haven't, I haven't read this on screen, but I actually am owning or I've, I've seen WhatsApp thread from the guy that got him out. So this is, his name's Jack Grundy. Fourth mm. ball, LBW, cheers, cheers in his WhatsApp thread. And someone wrote, did you swing one back onto his hero Honda pads? <laughs> <laughs> he wrote, ha, ha, had his gold helmet, the lot. Really don't know why he played. The same guy wrote, is he going back to play in the IPL? And the, the guy got him out, wrote, don't know why. He would have brought his kid over, really. And someone wrote, you got him out? And he wrote back, next, silly question. <laughs> Fuck it. That's Dinesh Kartik. Oh, honestly. Kartik in good his cake. See, and, and this is what I'm saying. He's a good player. Um, of course, good player. But, Maybe like, we're talking player. about the Asian century and, right, like, like, India have come yeah, here. Yeah, let's get back on India that. have come here. They want to knock off England at Headingley to really rub salt into the wound and open the floodgates and all those cliches. But I like that there's mm. still a stronghold in English village cricket. You know, Kartik comes over with his KKR lead. It's soft power India play. It, and Jack Grundy goes, you know what? Psh, see you later. And I heard that Kartik thought it was, a, it was a jazz hat game in England and Jack Grundy can actually play. Nolan Dorridge, skillful left arm seamer. Kartik would have been like, what's going on here? Classic. You know, I'm just saying village, I'm just saying village cricket is still trying to hold the fort. Hmm. To stop the the rising tide, the the, the wave of the Asian century, Kartik in the I, love I, I, I see that as a very aggressive move. KKR lid oh, in yeah. whites. It's like looking at an animal in the eye. It's very aggressive, <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> dangerous, dangerous. How dangerous. long do you think? I mean, it, it, could off off occur- no. it could be a once-off occurrence because there's nothing stopping this Asian century. Yeah. Why hasn't Jazz Hat cricket taken off in Australia? Because you can't enjoy cricket here, you're not allowed to. You're not supposed to. Be good or fuck off. That's the mantra. Oh, that's actually yes. that's actually that's actually under the emblem of like half the clubs in Sydney. Yes. Be good or fuck off. Yeah. Get that. Uh, get that. Yeah, Speaking right. of being good, is there anyone better than Rohit? Rohit. Mm. Rohit. Nah. What well, not not from, not from a style perspective. Imagine if um Australian oh. did songs like like the Barmy Army or Indians Indian fans do. I'm not sure we catch on here. Probably not. What's he doing? Hey, well, we, we need to say something to shoot. those who are, who are on the chat, um, and we will fix the focus on the camera as well in a second. But there's a lot of people who are saying, um, uh, please get rid of the spammers. So we actually can't see the spammers, but obviously there are some spammers. We don't have mods for it, uh, and this is a real – this is a pilot for us. So uh, – Apologies for whoever's spamming. I don't know what they're spamming about and whatever it is. It's Russia. Um, pretend it's like grade cricket and just a constant stream of noise from very um, sad people who have issues outside their life. Trouble. Try and create a little bubble around yourself if possible, and you might make 22 runs, batting number if six, you're lucky. and you can go back to the club with your head held high. And someone like Ed Cowan might look at you and say, Get a well played Sam because he because he remembers your name. Can I have some throws? Can I have some throws? And you're back at the club, and like, but the game's over. Couple more, no. couple, couple, couple. <laughs> Just a couple here, five five good ones, mate. I'll, ca- I'll, ca- I'll count them down for you. But I'm drinking. I'm drinking a beer. No, no, I got my kit. What about <laughs> here, here, here's a little tale for you. What about um? What about people thinking that I'm stoned? That's weird. Never yeah. smoked a reefer in my life. This is me. You know what it's called. That's interesting. Mm. interesting. Mm. This is me. They Why don't you tell they just don't, they obviously yeah. just don't get my humour. Um, <laughs> Which Australian players can, do do drugs. Can you, rem- <laughs> can you remember one of the great catches ever taken at the SCG? Name it. Apart from okay, go top five catch of the SCG. We're going to work backwards John in this Dyson. story. John Dyson, Dyson, is that the SCG? Dyson, that is number one. Yeah, Steve Wall. No, Steve that was Wall? that was MCG. That was MCG. Was it Roger, Roger mm-hmm. Harper in the gully? You reckon? Roger uh, Harper. Okay. I can't remember that one. What about Jamie Dalrymple on a SCG <laughs> night? One hand, like it was 
must have been a bar of soap. And ja- Jamie Dalrymple, do you remember that name? Do yeah. you remember yeah. it? Yeah, remember. JD. Yeah. One handed, ha- yeah, JD. Absolute hanger. Anyway, so we've got, we, you've placed you've placed him, played a bit of one day cricket for England. Yeah. I was playing for a team that he was in in, in the UK. He's, like, he's very posh. Good bloke, but very mm. posh. Right. I think he's married like the second Earl's daughter of West Norfolk. Anyway. No, you think I quite quite like that. Like, oh, uh, he said, uh, hey, I was um, fancy a couple of throwdowns there, mate. I, I, you know, grab a few new balls. You can, you know, try and just got to work on my Ford, Ford press. It's like, yeah, no, no worries, mate. So you get over there. He goes, right, here's the game. You're going to throw 30 overs of six balls allotment. I'm going to try and get 142. <laughs> and you've got three wickets to get them. <laughs> uh, sorry? 30 overs. Yes. You're going to throw 30 overs and I uh, a full, full allotment. Uh, and so you've got to call over and mix it up. You can bowl a couple off spin if you want, but use the new balls wisely. And I've got three wickets. I'm going to get 142. Fair to say that shoulder never recovered after throwing Jamie Dalrymple, no less than. I can know. Is that the sort of thing like? Oh, really uh, it seems like the sort of thing like Kevin Peterson might have asked you to do playing at Sydney Uni together. What about a bit of KP at Sydney Uni stuff? Yeah. The grade cricket KP. Just give us more of an outside perspective. I think there's been a poll. Have I got a poll here? Burat's out. No, no, they're watching. They're watching. This, this is the replays. They're showing how he got out last test match. Oh yeah, Pajaras. Sorry, I missed that. Hang on, Sam Curran actually got a wicket. How does that ever happen? <laughs> Seriously, Sam Curran, it, if, with if the this ball. guy, to, if if this if this guy turned up for the Tigers, Sam. Sorry, mate, but you're in threes this weekend. Look <laughs> at this. He's got a good face as he runs in. He looks angry as he runs in. He's a beautiful man. Look at that. That's gorgeous. You know, he's got a very small face, and that's actually um, biologically equated with symmetry, and symmetry is beauty. Mm. Good for your outswinger as well. Small face. Get your wrist over a bit more. Mm. Honestly, this is threes. Ted, thanks for joining us on this pilot. uh, this this pilot opportunistic project that we've got here. How isn't this a thing? Like, why is this a poll? Is this five day? Are you running all five days, every test, back to back, around the world? It's we we don't know. It's it's it's, a, it's an experiment. Yeah. But life is too, isn't it? Not really. How are you miss? Uh, it depends what sponsors say. Mm. We. We're just enthralled to commercial interests. You know what I mean? They just say, how many eyeballs will see my brand? Yeah. And we say, this many. And mm. uh, and then we then we times, actually And get, then you times it by three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we get a, yeah, 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 then we add a few zeros. And then we get a social consultancy to, me- uh, to um, measure the value of um, uh, spam in the chat. And uh, and then that yeah. shoots out a, a dollar value, that's and the then um, and then that's how I go back to my wife and say, "This is what I do for work. What do you do?" And then and she says, "I say, doctor." Yeah. You yeah. say, "Well, I make people. I save lives too with humour." I'm home <laughs> with the blood of children on my scrubs. <laughs> what did you do? I said, "Oh, I put a couple. I, I blocked a couple of um." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We're on, all making uh, a difference. Yeah, on the on the chat. So. Each to their own. Each to their own. So who are the sponsors for this little, you know? Yeah, no one's going on yet. No, well, I mean, we, we've, been, we've been, well, you know, look, listen, there are, you know, there's real estate. Uh, are you going to do a little tripod coffee down the bottom? We've got a new instant product. Absolutely delicious. Okay. Well, you're, just getting, you're, fucking you're getting that for free. <laughs> Tripodcoffee.com.au <laughs> India. <laughs> Ed Cowan, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Ted. Love you guys. Peace in the Middle East. Cheers. Bye. 18 tests. 18 tests. 18 tests for Australia, the fourth ranked team in the world. 
The Australian cricket team. Pez, hey. in that time, it's been a real battle for bat and ball. Yes. And I don't mean against. I mean, it's been a battle for bat and ball. Yes. Because at the end of the day, the winner actually takes either of those objects home. Like, it's like a schoolyard thing. They say, oh, can I have your bat? And then you take that home. And you bring back for the recess tomorrow. And I think that the comment that we see on screen, thanks, Ed, is the general vibe of um, the chat that we've that, w- that we've seen. Shrikant said, ah, Google him. Teddy is Ed Cowan. Yeah, that was Ed Cowan. He opened the batting and batted three for Australia uh, 18 times in test matches. Uh, played in many. He played at three different counties, I think, in the UK. Did he? Yeah, no. at least two uh, and maybe three. Um, Knots? He played at Knots? Yeah, I think he played. Stuart Broad? I think he also played Leicestershire, mm. which is yeah. where Josh Inglis played right. there. Rowan said, good bloke, Ed. Yeah. That's true. He's a great bloke. Yeah. Um, and someone else said Ed Cowan had more whiskey than Ravi Shastri today. Not sure that's true. Yes, I think you guys want us to be more drunk than we are, and let me tell you. Well, let, 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 can we talk, can we recap on the cricket for a little bit? Um, India's twenty one for two, as far as we can see, and it has been uh, a, it's been England's hour. And you know what? If there was any hour in Test cricket mm. that you expect the bowlers to have, it's this hour. I first I'm hour of the of first a, day. I'm more of a um, second half hour after lunch um, in the Midlands. Of Australia, that's when the bowls really start to dominate. Can I, can, I, can I make a cricket comment? Is that okay? Or is the rhythm not there? Go on then. We spoke before the game about how India has all the momentum, not only in the Asian century, but just literally with this series. It, oh, oh, Carly wow. scratched off and, and Anderson's Siri. got him. And Anderson's got him. <laughs> oh, Holy, holy shit. shit. Somebody make that a meme. That is not good for the Somebody channel. Somebody make a meme. That is not good. On the subreddit thing. Wow. Coley's, Holy as, shit. And as Sanket Gopal says, Coley's go. Holy shit. And oh, He's just missed no. a half volley there. He hasn't missed. He's actually dear, scratched oh, it. Dear, oh, They set him up. That's. Wow, that's a that's, half volley. That's a half volley. That's, that's a test match half volley. Wow. Yeah. In wow. fourth grade, that's a good ball. You know what? The more Coley fails, the more Pajara stays. There you go. Well, mate, Rahane's coming to the crease now, and he ain't in any good nick. Dear, oh, dear. And we spoke about this. You know, Prithvi Shaw was just waiting for, for Chiteshwa to fail. Um, Yadav as well. It'll come back. It's fine. Yadav will come back. Yadav, will, Yadav is also there as a spare bat. Wow. But I'll tell you what, in, t- in terms of good tosses to lose, holy shit. This is what I Coley, was Coley's stuck in the he, fucking he goes, laundry. This again. is what I wanted to say. Yeah, right? go on. What do you want to say? I want to say that as we went into this game, yeah. we were like, India's riding the crest of a wave. Right. KL Rahul played a shot that kind of reflected that. They went and smashed them and fought them in the long room. They knocked them over mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff, and yeah. it was time to come out and win. Right. Except the only thing that levels you is cricket in England. That's right. James level. Anderson is bowling to you in the first session, yeah. the first day, heading up have some north. Fucking respect. You got to respect the game. And all he's doing is scratching guys off. Are these guys not respecting the game? Is that what you're saying? India have forgotten that you need to respect England in England. Virat Kohli, and he's missed a half volley there. That's a that's a half volley. Well, he hasn't missed it. He scratched it. Now, now yeah. Mafioso Rahane comes to the crease, and he's yeah. fucking, he's batting for the game here. I tell you what, that's, that, that's when he steps up. The team that we support bowled, bowled England out for 67 last time they played a test yeah. match here, and we still lost. So. 67 is not uh, that was not actually a, good score. out of the running. That was a good score in hindsight. 22 many. <laughs> <laughs> Bombay box the rescue now. Not really sure what that means, but happy to say it out loud. Yeah. Happy to say it okay, out loud. Okay, well, sorry. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I think Ed's still watching this. I've got a – someone who's written in, mate of mine plays fifth grade, met Ed – on a night out via a mutual friend, spent the night talking favorite cricket bats. He had no idea it was a pro until he saw his test debut a few months later. <laughs> Does Ed remember that? That's the question. <laughs> if he's still watching, does he remember it? Is there a story there? Mm. You know? uh, mm. Favorite cricket bats. Wow. 21 for three. He goes. Yeah. Now, this is cat pigeon stuff. This is really this, – this, now, we – we uh, look, listen, I'm going to say now, I went too far. I went too far saying that well, India's going to – Someone's just said uh, – Naman's just said, why is this happening to me and Pez? Yeah. And someone's also said 36 all out. Yeah, I mean, it is in this team. It's literally the same team that you got bowled up at 36, but like – Our pit's right here. 
What do you say? Complacency. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's right. Shut the stream, boys. Someone else. Yeah. This is the thing, isn't it? When what you want to happen doesn't happen, mm. you then take it out on the media people that are telling you this thing. Mm -hmm. We're just seeing what you're seeing, guys. I actually do. I actually did make a few phone calls today just because I saw some odds and I thought, yeah, I'll have a bit of that. So if, if listen, keep that in mind. Can I just say? Keep that in mind, guys. I'm just saying, like, bet on 45. <laughs> We will <laughs> never spam you with betting advertising. Yes. There's one comment we can make about our brand. It will never happen. It will never happen. Unless there's a good offer. <laughs> I'm tell you what, <laughs> unless the money's right. in which uh, case. And there's a lot of things that they could sell for us at the moment. <laughs> and if they go in for that, well, I'll tell you what, everyone's got a price. We're a dollar no, seven. He's joking. Yeah, he's oh, joking. That's not that's, that's not our bag. It's yeah. not our bag. Here we go. Here's one Sam Perry, not as good looking as Elise Perry. Are they even related? Yeah, that's interesting. That's you got to think about that. Tell you what. Yeah, anyway, I look at Josh Butler taking that catch, and i got to say, it's ugly. Yeah. His feet are wide the way, apart. It's the width. He, he, it's the width. Fucking alligator. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's all happening here in Heavenly. First, oh, Sam Curran's always got a wickety. <sighs> Jesus. Is it Sam Curran is at a forward for Manchester City? India, are you that's um, fucking that's deck good. off the same by an inch and a half? And the way Butler takes it, I don't like it. No, and it's the, it Butler doesn't go inside, and he doesn't, doesn't go inside. He doesn't, doesn't go, go inside. inside. Fuck, fuck me, right. ugly. Tim Payne, neat inside hip. That's what you can do in Australia because the ball bounces so much. Hey, thanks for the donation. Now, uh, I tell you, oh, that's a shot. Now that's a shot. That's a shot. Now, I'll tell you what we're saying here, Pez. Finally, in this game, England's got it right because we saw in the series in India where India cheated because the ball was spinning too much. Remember that? Remember when they cheated? Because it, was, was it wasn't fair. Stuff. It wasn't fair. Now, in this game just here, Coley's won a toss for the first time since the late 70s, I think it was. Yeah. And now he's dobbed his teammates in. There you go, boys. Have a go on that. And it's hooping round corners. This is the English wickets that we wanted and expected. Exactly. Finally, England's decided. Let's go. Let's 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 go extreme. You you guys want to play extreme? Yeah. Oh, you want to play? Do you? Is this last over for drinks? Has to be. <laughs> 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 Something's happened. That. Uh, okay. I think you guys will like. I highly I encourage. You I, I, I appreciate I think, it. I think the drinks break is probably going to happen. There's probably one more over after this. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably one more over. And All right, then, so we'll give it a couple. We'll give it a couple of minutes till the next guest comes shit. in. But you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. Yeah. Um, and let's, I actually let's need let's to go to low as well. Let's just say he's also had a good record against Brat Coley. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. But I feel like it's, it's the same with um. Mm -hmm. We're we talking about it's uh who knocked out, who did we talk about who did we talk uh, Jammer the other day talk about Kyle talked to Kyle Jamison the other yeah, day Jamie's son. He got Coley out twice, but the more Coley fails, the less it kind of makes it. It's like well, everyone, e everyone gets him out. And yeah. I think the guy that we're about to talk to yeah, yeah. might feel the same way. What you want is <laughs> – oh, I can see him. What you want yeah. is Coley scoring runs. Now, it's like when – if if you said during like Smith's 2019 Ashes, oh, I got Smith out, incredible. But then when like Wagner oh. sorted him out, then it was a bit like, oh, not that good. Now, if you get Bradman out, now that's a – that's a cap. That's a scalp. Where does scalp come from? Is that like some sort of Viking shit where they usually like cut off the top of the heads of yeah. the victims? Yeah, oh, I got the scalp. Got his scalp. Yeah. You scalp him? Well, you don't. You scalp the bloke? The way to show that you've beaten someone is to literally own their scalp. Yeah, own the scalp. Yeah. yeah. Not even the head. You can't get someone's scalp, scalp unless a scalp unless you've, 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 you've got them. Depends you know? what you're into. Depends what you're into. It's got to be drink soon, doesn't it? Keep that in mind. Yeah. That's it's not. That's a, it drinks now. Okay, it drinks now. Should we just have think. a little bit of an overlay, and okay. we'll come back with we're a new be, guest. We're going to be back in two minutes. There's a guest coming, uh, yeah. and we'll be back. Anderson on fire. Things happening at Headingley. Back in a moment's time. Favorite, which was an unpopular one for most of the Julios, as we used to call them, captain and coach by Shane Warne, was Johnny Williamson. So I want to set the mood with a bit of Johnny Williamson. Just to get us going before we actually sing the team song together. Blue, blue. Is it me and you? Is 
visit mom and dad. Ha! Is it a cockatoo? Is it standing by your nights when he's in a fight? Or will she be right? Terrible guitar player. Sorry about that. Uh, Jason says, criticize the Indian team. This is the worst Indian team I have seen in maybe my lifetime. Absolute disgrace. Can't find off stump. Fishing, no runs. Ashram not even playing. Absolute disgrace, this team. Jo it's a joke. It's a joke. Australia's fourth in the world. On that note, he goes, shall we? Uh, do you oh, sorry, we, we on there just then. Sorry, I thought we were up? chatting. India's 26 for three. Oh, there's they, a they've, going on. And, and Jimmy's bowling. Mate, this thing's going around. It's going around. Fucking corners. corners. We spoke too soon about the Indian team. Let's introduce our next guest. Mate, they've already, got, they've already got 10 too many. India. Next guest, we ready? Yeah, go on then. Okay. Shall I pour you a little chateau? Yeah, that'd be cup? nice, actually. Let's yeah. do it as he comes in oh. appropriately. <laughs> Evening, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, it's that time of the day again, isn't it? The test cricket song. I, 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 I guess the question on everyone's lips, Stephen O'Keefe of the Australian mm. team is, how do you get Virat Kohli out? Oh, well, how long have we got? I've uh, just... You know, just as a side prop, I brought the ball with me, uh, the actual ball from India. Well, you wouldn't believe it. Now, I, pre I presented this at a few pissed functions at my joint. Everyone did not believe me. I rolled it round, showed them the bottle cap marks, and I went, truth, it has to be the ball that was done. There it is. 
<laughs> and so, yeah, this is this is fantastic for me. It's been great. So thanks for having can me we, on, boys. Can, yeah. we, can, we t- can we talk, Sock, about how you set Varad up? Because the one that got him was just the one that just slid on with the arm. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. A couple of raggers and then just got him through the arm. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, that straight one, we've been working on plans, dissecting charts, reading graphs, all, and I just said, boys, I've got this covered. I've got this covered. This pitch, honestly, it's turning at right angles. Pythagoras would be happy with this, how far this – this this is going that far right corners. I'll just slide one on straight and we'll get it done. But to be fair, we did talk about – when we talked about VRAP, we are like, look, the only way we think we can get him out is you bowl full outside off stump, try and get him to cover drive. If he gets to 20, you'll make 100. You might nick him off. And, uh, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy's gotten it done. Well done, son. Hmm. I see that you're actually watching your TV above the uh, the phone or the, the laptop. Mm. What's actually on that TV? It's not the cricket, is it? It's Ted Lasso That's, or something. Or, yeah. yeah, what are you watching? Sort of water well, 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 I'm about my fourth bottle in Estonia from Mornington Peninsula. It's just blurry from about you blokes out, so I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> what's, what's the score again? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I guess that's a good time to say that India's 30 for three. Uh, we thought it was going to be riding the crest yeah. of a wave, but instead, uh, you know, the, the, the English have come through. Anderson's got a couple. It was it Curran who picked up Coley? As well, was that right? Yeah, no, was was it Jimmy? No, it was Jimmy. Jimmy, no, Jimmy, Jimmy, geez. Yeah, what's in front of your screen? That's more important. Yeah. What's going on in there? Right, mate, Pakistan, yeah, Pakistan won the second test against the West Indies by 109 runs. And that's all I'm <laughs> worried about. That's all I'm worried about. Yeah, that's I, 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 I tell you what, though, Sammy Curran, you wouldn't mind fight facing that, though, would you? In third grade park cricket, that is <laughs> that is horrendous, isn't it? He's four foot two bowls, a buck 20. Left arm, not swinging the ball. He would. I don't reckon he's getting picked for Manly first grade. I, honestly, <laughs> well, Manly strong. Manly strong. We are good. But Mickey We're Edwards good yeah. this year. Mickey oh, you've Edwards. Got, you've literally got Mornay Morkel playing for you. So <laughs> yeah, so. we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Much to his dislike, but we did get him along for a couple of games. Hey, so when the, you, game, when you... the game we actually. Sorry, go on. Oh, sorry, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you a serious question. But I was gonna ask you a question. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually my mistake. But like when you when you played for the Australian cricket team, which I think you have, <laughs> yeah, they you just yeah, found oh. on, you found something on eBay there. <laughs> or, <laughs> but um, did you uh like what was the conversation around Virat at the time? That was twenty. Is that twenty fifth? What year, what year was that? Oh, 2017. 2017. 2017. Yeah, 2017. Yeah. So what, what, was, what was the conversation about, like, how dangerous he was? Like, I mean, you said you said there, like, sort of sarcastically, like, if you get to 20, you get 100. Like, was it was it that real at the time? Because he hasn't scored a ton almost since then. Since or he, he, he went that bad. I reckon he played three. He played the first three tests. The average less than six. He yeah. was... He was all the talk, and I think that was half the problem with us because we uh, focused so hard on trying to knock him over and the energy from, like, Warner and Smith was just all agitated towards him. And then you'd have, like, these cool heads like Pujar and Rahani would come in and just, like, it was death death by, you know, death by paper cuts. You know, they'd come in and just nurdle you around before you knew they were 50, then they were 100 off, 120, and that sort of just get to a point where they just wear you down. Um, so, yeah, he, he was always the talk. You'd have a, an hour-long meeting. He was 35 minutes, but it was the other guys we should have focused on. So, And I always told him, I said, boys, is he, be, is he in my back pocket? Like, There's no way I'm not going to knock him over. Let's move on. I've got this sorted. The world's best matter. Please. Um, but back to the baggy green. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, doesn't, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit anymore. Um I've whacked it in the dryer a few times uh, to make it look like I played more than nine tests. <laughs> and it's, it's either it's blocked out and the head's fitting a bit too much, but it's I'm not even sure this is mine. But it, it's, 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 it's one thing's cap, isn't oh, it? I, I noticed yeah. you. Made... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, oh god! Yeah, anyway. Now that we've decided England's going to win this series. Um, yeah. Mm. Attention turns to Australia travelling to India in uh, October next year or whatever, or they've got uh, a couple of tests over there in Asia. And you made some comments in public recently, Sock, saying that Australia oh, going with three spinners. And uh, <laughs> a lot of people picked up and said, oh, look, Sock's getting behind Nathan Lyon, Ashton Agar and Mitch Swepson. And, and I, I understand what you really meant was that you're still ready to play. 
you know, I've got, I've, yeah, I'm still good to go. So I've uh, been in constant uh, contact with JL, uh, letting him know about my performance. I haven't got a reply yet, but I've been letting him know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whether it's the fact that I've been messaging him at 2 a.m. Uh, with rambles <laughs> all that I'm. I think I'm still messaging Trevor Holmes that he's now not the chief selector. So I don't know if my radar's off, but yeah. I've, I've been trying very hard. And I think George Bailey's actually changed his mobile number since he's become <laughs> selected. I've been sending him uh, feature clips of me knocking over first graders out at Manly Oval because we do live stream our games out there. And um, mm. clearly it's, it's it yeah, holds no weight. But mm. Yeah. Mm. So uh, we've been we've been big, hey, we've been we've been bigging up this India team. They they seem to have it all ever since the Gabba fell, you know, and then Lords fell last week or two weeks ago, and we just thought this team's got everything. They've got the white ball players, with the red ball players. The IPL is going gangbusters. What can't these guys do? But like Indian fans have been letting us know, like they they're like they're a bit the almost team, you know. They go they almost go the way in the ICC tournament. And now we're saying like they're only one up, one nil up in the series. And now we're saying right now thirty for three in this game right here. They're they're almost. Uh, what do you, what do you reckon? Well, yeah. I, I mean, I I I was just before I got to this show, I did a little bit of research, and I don't I don't do that often. I I I look at that Indian team that beat Australia at the Gabba. And what did you? I mean, what did you say, Sam? You said that was like our our safe place as Australian cricket. Like as in, mm. you know, losing that was like, you know, you'd lost your, you add in an adjective. I look at this Indian team as just being the, I mean, it is, it's so dynamic and it's the Melbourne storm of the NRL. They perform well. Siraj, I mean, who was the offie that did well against the, the Australians in, um, at the Gabba? Watch Sunda. Watch Sunda. Then you had Shadul Thukur. Who come out and did well? I, I'm yeah, just big on this Indian. Nice and mm. What's mm. that? Sorry, go. On. Well, we, we get we keep getting shit from our fans because we say Takua, and then a lot mm. of it, a lot of comments laugh at us. Mm. Uh, so mm. we just want to know phonetically how is it said. Mm. Anyway, yeah, carry um, on. I interrupted yeah. you. On. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I appreciate his work. We played him once in a uh, uh, when we we played a uh, uh, it was a trial first class fixture. Before we had the test series, he played and he uh, took five for against us, and it was like who the and then we didn't see him until three years later, and he's obviously on fire. But uh, I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, I'm a bit lost in watching Jimmy Anderson just weave a spell just above yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the TV screen. Three for Thakua. six. Thakua. The, yeah, the, the, uh, no, Thakua. Takor. No, no, Takor. someone else. Takor. Parkour. Takua. Yeah, I think he had a brother, Parkour. No. The- <laughs> What are your thoughts on Jimmy Anderson still getting it done at 39? Hey, hey we were You'd talking about face. We were talking about this last week, so because because he was facing Boomer. The guy's 39 <laughs> Three years for old, six. and he was getting upset. And it's like he's 39. That's like that's out. Oh no! Oh, oh Rich! Oh, they're out of us. You out of us? Oh, I might be. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on, get upstairs. Have a look. Oh, I reckon he's hit that. Nah, it's not out. Nah, it's out. Fourth, mate. <laughs> yeah. those given sort of at 345 in the afternoon yeah that'll do so I, understand, so a, so I understand uh i understand the manly shirt i understand the baggy green as much as i can but yeah. um you're wearing batting gloves you're as well gloves, yeah. um at home yeah, got, on a uh, wednesday night. do you oh, do this in front of the test as well where you can <laughs> you fool the just that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was actually going to put the pants on as well, uh, yeah. but I embarrassed myself. They're thirty twos. I put them on, and honestly, they didn't get up above my mid thigh. <laughs> so I've gone the skinny leg, which once were not put on, and uh, but no, it's it's a promo plug for Grey Nicks. Um, so three years ago, yeah. they gave me a bat and a pair of gloves, um, and I'm wow. over ambitious because I haven't used them since 2018. They're still brand new. Tags on. <laughs> still brand used. Batting at 11 in club cricket is the best. It's the key. You just not. You just complain about everyone else, and when they're 10 down, you just say, "Look, there's no point in me getting injured, boys. I'm going to 
to bowl 30 overs next week, so let's declare. So, yeah, it's, anyway, I still get free stuff, that? guys. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> we got a free LinkedIn account the other day, and we yeah, spoke we, about them. So. We got LinkedIn premium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, we're both doing pretty well. We can see who's viewed our part. Have you got... Have you got an OnlyFans account? Because I'm, I've, oh, geez, it's, it's not. A lot of people want he goes to get an OnlyFans account. Yeah, since I get, I get your shirt, get the shirt off he goes because that is strong. <laughs> that is top draw. It's good. Since, I, since I've taken down uh, uh, the explicit content from OnlyFans, I feel like there's no point. Mm. <laughs> yeah. There's no point anymore. Just trying to make a living. Just a man trying to make a living, you know. Fish out, fish oh, do you reckon uh, Jimmy Anderson 39? Has he got another rashes in him? I mean, the ashes in probably three months, so probably yes, but like, have you got another home rashes in him? He'd be 41 still going around. I think, well, I mean, I'm just, I, I, I'm buzzing for the bloke, isn't it? He sort of just gives you that for that little moment, that, that 30 minutes of clarity I have each day in between either waking up hung over and then you know having the 15 valley and i have a day to try and get through lockdown that 30 minute clarity where i feel like i could still do it you know i yeah. love turning on the tv and see jimmy anderson three for six like it's possible yeah. guys it, it's it's yeah. mm. it's possible and why and why wouldn't you the way that he he just does it everywhere he does it mm. in australia he does it over there he's good with the cooker now he just mm. it's what's he fourth on the list of all time yeah, third, third, third yeah, or second yeah. fast Ooh. bowler. Yeah, it's going over. Outside, going over. yeah. I mean, as I said, you'd face Sammy Curran came and played second. He'd be the sort of like you'd be batting a meter out of your crease, going, boys. When he comes on, get after him because the rest of the guys going to be tough work on this wicket. So and I, the I, only I, thing I appreciate about it is his hair work. Yeah. This is the point of difference that you know we're looking for in uh, the commentary game. You know, mm. like like this. What you're saying is what. A lot of players who are on air uh, post career um, would refuse to say when they're, you know, with the establishment media, right? They watch Sam Curran, they go, oh, Curran's in here, nibbles it away. Yeah, he's worked really hard. He's, he's worked through whatever. You're just there saying he's a buck 26 at best. <laughs> he averages 30 at best. And, if he, and he wouldn't make three. Of them really good haircut. Maybe that'll get him in twos. Yeah. Week and he's still getting the game. <laughs> he's a kind of, I feel like he's the kind of guy. Who, out there, he's, a he's the kind of guy kind of gray training. You see him and you'd ask him, mate, do you bat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the yeah, sort of he's guy you'd push to the fifth grade or fourth graders net and go, mate, just have a roll over there. Just give him, yeah, give him a new ball to make him look interesting on really rough wickets. Um, and then, you know, it might perk the interest of the third grade captain, but the third grade captain also bowls left arm buck 20s. It's like, no, he's no chance of playing three. <laughs> so <laughs> <gonna have to. laughs> bowl buck 20s. Yeah, yeah. That's quick. Sorry. Sorry. The third grade captain bowls um, uh, finger spin around the wicket, seam up. So, yeah. This, <laughs> uh, this. <laughs> and, the, and the keeper's about four steps back from the stumps, like not up to the stumps, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, the that's middle that. ground. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, so, yeah that, that's right. So question here from H. McGill. Uh, ask Sock about his first class 99. Does that even exist? Is that a thing or? So, oh, gee, to the heart, that that really stings. That idea, ninety nine Hobart. I remember it. It was the world's flattest wicket. Peter Neville, two hundred, two hundred. Mm. Generally, up to about the six days. His strike rate's about twelve. <laughs> so it was that good a wicket. Bird bowl. He had everyone pretty much on the boundary. Had a floating slip. I sh absolutely sh just just uh, cooked myself. Shat myself. He bowled a ball probably. A Bit like the one that Virat Kohli got, 86 overs old, and I nicked it to fly slip. Luke Butterworth, who was at three and a half, no one was mm. interested, and I was shattered. And then down the tunnel, Trevor Bayless and I just had my head in my hands, and he was just laughing me the whole way into the sheds, which made it even worse. <laughs> I think he actually said to me, mate, that's the closest you'll ever get to getting 100. <laughs> What a coach. Jeez, well, oh, well, you always do what to say at the right times. That's why, you know, we won a World Cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mate, you know what's funny about that? Like, like you're so self-deprecating about your batting, but, like, mm. as we were 
you, you were my age group as we grew up and you you were like as effective as a batsman as you were a bowler because obviously everyone just sucked and you were on your way to the top. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, in your head, you, it, like you've scored first grade hundreds and stuff. Like in your head, you could bat, and then it kind of you just had to focus on bowling, right? Like, a, like a, that, for a long time, you could bat, right? Yeah. Well, a test a test batting average of nine with a strike rate of fourteen, boys. <laughs> <That's> right. a, <laughs> hey, I read between the lines. There, there's the one. I I, I got to about. 15, what was I? I under 16s, under 17s, I batted five for the Blues and I was a skipper. So that probably telling you something as well as captain so I can push myself up the order. But it was at that stage I realised I just, I was not quite, I was not either in the best six batters and I was not in the best six batters. And at that stage, rookie contracts were 10 grand. And I'm like, hmm. i got to get my Fuck yeah. Hmm. I reckon Sox internet is sort of battling a little bit. Ten thousand. That's all right. That's right. Contract. So I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do something here to. to you know, I'm going to have to. Sell, I'm going to, have to sacrifice one. Uh, New South Wales. Mm. I only had six spinners in front of me: Frazier, Stuart McGill, uh, Bo Casson, and Nate Horrocks. And I thought that's my best chance of getting a game for the Blues is to try and jump all six at once. <laughs> um, they don't bowl. They don't bowl left arm darts as well as I do. So I was like, I stuff it. I'm going to give it a good old red hot crack. Yeah. Got my first game for first class cricket in um, five guys. You're going to have to edit half this. I got my first first class oh, game, and then it took me five years to get the second one. And then, uh, uh, yeah, the rest is history. Three hundred and four. Got a first class batting average higher than my bowling average. Got that framed on the wall. Uh, my house, just my parents' house. Anyone's house will accept it. <laughs> be just sort of in behind one, just tough, tough in here, and then just sort of you know, under a third slip. No, but you'd never see a spitter with a third slip in. But I used to bowl with them in first class cricket. That's how good I was. How, anyway, how, how do you deal with the truth that uh, it um, it's very arguable that you're the best spinner in the country? Yeah, how do I? How do I deal with that? Well, I, I thought I answered that a bit earlier. Uh, it's uh, 15 Valium a day and uh, three bottles of Estonia. <laughs> <laughs> Abusive texts at 3 a.m. to uh, <laughs> to Trevor Holmes, who's now not the head of this. The answer is I, I wear my baggy brain around my house. I looked at Stuart McGill the other day on a car and a I reckon he's getting 50 view there. I could be up a chance. <laughs> I've got a story to tell. Oh, it is. Oh, it's no good, is it? <laughs> oh, that could be me. Oh, yeah. man, that's really that good. Could be me. Yeah, that's yeah. good for me. That's, that's doesn't that's happen good. when you're the second best, does it? The second headline, it doesn't seem to work out for. I am <laughs> what I, I am what Stuart McGill was to Shane Moore, and I am equivalent to what Nate. <laughs> I'm the soft yeah. to Nathan Lyon. Right. You know, yeah. yeah. Oh, can, I, can I ask you, just in relation to this game, you just seen uh, Mo and Ali bowl an over there in the. It was the 16th over of the game. It's going around corners, and Mo and Ali's come on. What's what's that about? That, that is, uh, I've, I've I haven't been watching actually. Not <laughs> 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 It must be to change ends for some. There must be change ends there. Is Jimmy had a spell yet? Is Jimmy Anderson had a spell? I think, I think yeah. he's bought straight. There you go. You got, I think you got it. Yeah. yeah. I think he must be. He's, he's no, only, yeah. They're bringing him into the game. No, they just bring someone on to. Well, we do. It was It was always a, I tell you what, it was a Brad Haddon thing always, which was, I found really good as an early spinner. He would always find as captain, get you in the game in the first session, first hour, second. Uh, even if you know you're playing at the whack or wherever, he's like you always want to make you feel connected to the game, mm. even if you played no role. Which and for my first twenty first class games, I never you really didn't have a role because you had all these young fast bowlers ahead of you. But it, you always want to make you feel like you had a feel mm. for the game, which is important, you know, because mm. you know at, you know at club level, all you get is a spinner. You get the ball from the sixty fifth over, and you're like you know do your best seven out again. So. You know, maybe it's mm. a bit of that. No, no, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I was, I, I was, I wasn't bowled yet. Boring I mean, me. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Tell a sex story. <laughs> 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 I 
I just saw in one of the quotes actually someone said does sock look high and uh, if I, I, I'm not but if anyone does have a contact within five <laughs> quarters of the radius of barely <laughs> I'd be pretty I'd be pretty <laughs> Sorry, the number in the comments, yeah. The, the yeah. barely radius. Get onto the app. I'm close to. Uh, I've got access to a ferry. Uh, uh, why does he? Why does he have gloves what on? What is that? Guy? Yeah. <laughs> fingerprints. Is right. Right. Fingerprints. Uh, gloves on. This is this is the longest I get to wear these over the last four years. <laughs> <laughs> Except the time that me and Peter Neville batted for three and a half sessions for four runs. <laughs> Still got the tag on him. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, so, so, Sock, I mean, we have to ask why while you're here. Are you, you – do, do you think that – I just want to ask about your views on the Asian century. Like, do you, do you think that India is just on the ascent, and that Australia and England? Every time I ask this, as a wicket, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And that Australia and England are on the decline, and that like we're looking at 10, 20, 30 years where we're battling. Yeah, I, I uh, my opinion is India is just so good. They are just getting better and better and better. Is my like. I am the only reason I why I I think I'm enthralled by this test series. Like I watch the whole. Uh, I'll stay up all. Not that like there's much else to do, but I watched mm. the last test it, it, pretty much every over. Mm. I'm by it, and I am just so you know I. But I am I'm a massive India fan. I just think that the way they go about their game, the way that they're learning, the way they're adapting is so good, and I think they're getting better and better. Like I said, I think they're the Melbourne Storm of cricket because they're guys who step up into different positions have got this, you know, world of confidence that they're able to fill a role and do a job for a team and do well. And I, is Australia going backwards? I think at the moment, yeah, we are going backwards. You know, if I had to put a blade, we need to get Steve Smith back in as captain. We need a guy who's a genius leading the team around the park. You know, Virat has this confidence. He exudes all this, you know, he seems to know what's going on before anyone else. He doesn't make run, but he still has an effect on the team, you know, whereas I think we, we lose that. We've lost that when we haven't had him. And when we, you know, if we do get the opportunity when paint finishes up, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that time where Steve can come back in, run the team and get us back to that world domination. And it's the thing, it's just that small thing that we're missing. I just think that sense of leadership, that 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 level of knowing what's going to happen next ahead of, you know, the game that we've just we're we're a step behind. And that's all. Awesome. And if we don't catch India, we're we're so we, if we catch them, we you know we're, we're, there's no chance. They've beaten us at the Gabba. We are screwed mm. now. They're going to come over with an A team and flog us. You know, it's it's it, it sucks, man. Like that hurts. Mm. You would net like but anyway. Like, you <laughs> but sock. Sorry, it's, sorry. I was just, yeah. I just, the king around. I put top hands, just closed a yeah. bit. But anyway, there's a lot like, like Australian cricket. Is it is in flux at the moment, and like, mm. and part of the reason we're in flux is because India is going so well, and we're not the mm. top dog anymore. And you see this other mm. country rising. And yet we're going over there in like September, October next year, mm. and we would yeah. like to be there as well if we're allowed to travel. <laughs> and like, yeah. and there's a lot happening in Australian cricket at the moment, where like there's a, the the coach is is uh, fifty fifty at the moment. The captain, who's going to be the captain after um, after pain, and you must be sitting there going like, you know, in the current environment, you play first grade at Manly. The last time we were in India, where you need spinners, you dominated. It must be mm. a part in the calendar if you were like, you know, if the things line up, there is a chance, I, downside chance, I, but you are obviously in the top couple of spinners in the country. So you yeah, want I, and Smith I, in I, his- Look, I, I, I genuinely believe that, and I was like, I've got this. I went for a 500-metre stroll down the Manly Corso, <laughs> AirPods in and that, and two, two cars pinged at the same time. I was down on my knees and haunches. Police who were there trying to look after people with mandatory masks on had to come over. I nearly got fined. So I had no mask on. I wasn't exercising. And they had to 
carry me back to my manly apartment on the horse. Hundred, I'm about. <laughs> I'm about 102 kilos and my playing weight is 72. And as I said, I still there's that half hour of clarity when I wake up in the morning that I still think I've got it because I look at Rangana and I think that he would struggle to do the same sort of fitness yeah. level testing that I did. And he's ranked 10th of all time test wicket yeah. takers. 400 um, test scouts. Yeah. But you know what? I was going to give it away this year, mainly, you know, for the love of the game, I said I'm going to give back to the club. They came to me, $60,000 to play first grade. Uh, one day is only at T20s. I said, look, guys, I'll do it. For the love of it, I'll do it. For the love of it, you're kidding. It's happening. So I will play great, great cricket this year. All of you pundits out there who are, you know, rationing me off and think that I'm no good, I will be, be back for the love of the game, the pure love of the game. Um, $60,000 will subsidise my Big Bash contract, which is about $43,000. So you know, I might have enough to cover my Ladbrokes account. <laughs> Is it is it is it sixty k plus parking? Because it's tough at Manly sometimes. <laughs> oh, on a Saturday, it's tough, it's tough on a Saturday. It's tough. Yeah, I'm still the driving. Steve, on. I'm still yeah. driving. Believe it or not, I'm still driving. Steve Smith's Mazda six. He sold it to me in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> he paid forty five thousand dollars for it, and I got it off him for eighteen thousand dollars. Would you believe it? And it was an absolute. So it's been keyed up. Uh, the, yeah, the air conditioning genius. doesn't work. It's been keyed, uh, and the Radio doesn't work. I drive in my coon box on in the car. Here we do. I refuse to give it away because it's Steve Smith's car. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at you. It's going to be worth Steve, something. Steve Smith driving me absolute nightmare. Maybe side mirrors, rear view mirrors, yeah. seats, <laughs> aircon. Yeah. 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 Touch, yeah. touch you. Yeah. <laughs> touch you. Yeah. 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 Indicators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what was the question again? What was uh, uh, do I think I've a chance of playing cricket yeah. in the next month? <laughs> yeah. I've been rigging. Honestly, the conversation to try and get a Sixers convers uh, contract this year, I just had to convince. I said, guys, I've been down the man, I've been bowling him. I said, it's all mental. You know, guys, you've got to understand. I've not picked up a bat since. We just had a chat today. <laughs> that's the closest. That's the closest I've been to hitting a cricket, like a cricket ball in the last since the big bang finished. And can you believe the Sixers have signed me? I, it's absolutely. I can see a comment there. Sox single. Um, I should be. Yeah, my missus went to bed uh, an hour ago, and she is just so embarrassed of me. It's it's depressing. Yeah, I am so depressed right now, guys. This is. <laughs> this, How many this is the best one play? I've had in 57 days, but it's thanks. Hey, I was, I, I was, I was there the day that you guys met. Oh, it's just walking. Yeah, you, you, you were. I was there. You walk were. about. Yeah. That's right. You were. Yeah. Or New South Wales won. Still oh. the best journalist that day. <laughs> I kept encouraging oh. you to leave her alone because she was after a scoop. Because <laughs> yeah. you guys are together five oh, years later in a great news sense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's like a great news sense. Listen, a great news sense. Listen, great news sense. Great news sense. Matt back. Bruce has been asking a lot of questions here. Sock, Sock name oh, a fourth good. grader. <laughs> Manny, say that again. What does Manny want? He wants to. He says, "Name a fourth grader." Oh, well, I can tell you the the the, the fourth grade captain next Andrew Rochford. Is that does that satisfy? Does that satisfy? Because he's come up from he's come up from fives, and he's now going to captain fours. So <laughs> that's that's it. Is that, am I right? Am I right or not? He, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know a fourth grader. Not from us, too. Yeah. yeah. Take it by Sally. Rochi doesn't count. Sally, you can. What's this? Oh, can... We got other questions. Why do you ask? I was hating India so much. We, we don't Just hate India. Don't count, know. mate. Name a fifth grader. I'll tell you what, Nettie, you'll be playing fives. You've named yourself, son. You can, back, you can get back into fives. 
Shoot, marry, kill. Mosca, Dan Smith, or Benetti. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna answer the comments here. Is fives actually a grade? It is uh, this is this is good fun. How many listeners have we got, guys? What do you, does it come up with a live? Do you, yeah, how does it work thousand. for you guys? Do you get do you get paid at a certain uh, sort of uh rate of listener hey. or no, this is just friendship? Yeah, do you get... <laughs> Yes, yeah, so sorry, mates. So so, sorry. There's so, two parts to this uh, question. Do you get paid and are they listeners? There was two parts to that question. <laughs> so, Sock, so Overton's just come on to bowl. I think it's a wicket in the third ball. I'm fucking quitting this job immediately because I've got... Overton. Which Overton? Because there's two of them, isn't there? And they're both as... They yeah. both look like with a spade. Like, they're just... <laughs> <laughs> You won't get this on the BCCI. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. You're talking yeah. about an Indian player. Would you say that if an Indian player was running in and he had the same face as Craig Overton, would you yeah. say that? I um, is, I'll tell you what, I tell you what, from, from fifteen years of listening to uh our ACA talk about revenue and revenue dollars, eighty three cents in the dollar comes from India that we earn in our pocket. Now I think every Indian cricketer should be the next bachelor on Australian cricket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have so much high regard for the people, the person, the cat of every single Indian cricketer that has ever played the game, will play the game. You know, I've got so okay, 80, 83 cents is a lot less than us. Mm. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah, you got, you guys are still in court, aren't you? I'm surprised. I'm surprised you still got a T-shirt on your back. <laughs> <laughs> not now. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it's not live. Is it's not live? Is it? No, 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 so it's no, not no, live. No, no, we're just no, making. No, no. no, no one's watching. It's this. a big Zoom. It's one big Zoom. <laughs> yeah, it's a big, it's a yeah. big Zoom. Yeah, the next person you should should be the bloke that should just edit, you know, when Sock comes yeah. in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, oh, here we go. Is a, this is a question from um, a YouTube commenter called Yuvraj Singh. Hmm. Is Sock going to the IPL? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A 2012 experience of the IPL was fantastic, if you haven't heard. It was uh, when I played for the Kochi Tuskers. Um, <laughs> went over on 20000 Dollars got paid eight thousand dollars. My room bill was ten thousand dollars. So officially, it was the only bike that went to the IPL and lost money. Um, not only that, I was meant to play the last game. I got, I got a hole in my stomach from drinking too much whiskey with Brendan McCullum. <laughs> Had ended up in an Indian hospital on the trip to the point where Jeff Lawson, the coach, had to come out and see me before the game and ask me three hours before if I could play the game. And I was that high on morphine. I said yes. And he walked out of the room and left me in there for the next two days. So that's that was my that was the closest I got to playing in the IPL. Um yeah, Plenty still of paying off the still paying off the debt. Happy, happy, happy memories. Happy memories. Happy memories. <laughs> Twenty. Was it was it, was it Murali in that team? Yeah, Murali was Murali, the team. Yeah, Murali, Brandon McCullum. Uh, we Re Re Revenge Jadeja played as well. Vivius Lakshman. Honestly, mm. I tell you, it was the bet we were out at Kochi, which is southern India. And it was a it, it was a sort of a bit isolated, but honestly, it was the best six weeks we had. Brad was an overseas as well. Johnny Hay came over. They used to get your allowance, which was 150 US a night. Haystow had pulled his side in the first net session, came in, bowled like the wind, and they paid him for uh, 28 days meal allowance, US dollars. So he got $3,500. We turned this game, got a bottle of vodka, we were running the drinks, filled up both our drinks that we were drinking. So we were pissed on the sidelines, running drinks, drunk. Haystow went in. <laughs> Day. Got a scared on his side, ripped, got he took a thousand plus his eight grand. He was there for he was there for a week, unbelievably. And we were drunk running drinks in the IPL. <laughs> there you go. There's it. <laughs> That's amazing. I verify that. I still verify that. Yeah, the IPL. Absolute shit show. For 2012 it was. Now yeah, it's amazing. In 2012. In 2012. Yeah, it's a very yeah. serious yeah. competition. Yeah. 
Such a limitation. Because I'll, I'll be chair. Yeah, that's yeah, I'm a chair to playing in the 23 IPL. Because, you know, <laughs> mm. yeah, what, what does India not have enough of? Fat, slow, left arm, finger spinners who can't bat. Yeah, there's plenty of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, coach, the coachy Tuskers are coming back, Sock. They're coming back, maybe. I think they yeah. might be. They might be. <laughs> hey, Sock, we're uh, – we're gonna we're gonna let you go now. That was one of the great stints of all time. Thank you so much. Uh, That's good. We've done, you know, we've, done, we've had a good stint of that. As everybody can see, this is one of the great new products uh, in yeah. the um, annals of sports broadcasting. So um, I don't. Thank think you, boys. Will... So I appreciate the time. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the next opportunity I get. I hope not to get brought on first changes as well. I didn't appreciate not getting brought on in the first set there. I, I mean, I'm used to getting brought on after the new ball damage has been done, but I hope I get to, you know, sort of come out maybe with the new ball. You know, it's like you're, it, it, you're the headliner. Early. You're the headliner. Fucking okay. Jimmy Axe over here. You know what I mean? Give, give well, me a new pill. Give me a new I don't know. I, I feel like I have to get the guitar and start playing True Blue with Matt Hayden just to get some minutes on this show. But uh, I can learn it if you right. guys need it. <laughs> You want to you want to give us any JL stories before we go, or maybe not? <laughs> oh, yes. How much I can make myself bigger hole, can I? Jesus Christ! Yeah, All right, yeah. love yous. I'll see you later. All right, see you, mate. Just about to run out. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Steve O'Keefe. There he is. Steve O'Keefe. Nine, nine tests. Is. Nine tests from Australia. Nine tests. Nine and, tests from Australia. Nine, nine tests and hardly done by gen- genuinely. Um. Still playing for the Sydney Sixers through another contract. He won the he won the BBL last year with the Sydney Sixers. Yeah. He's um, literally in the top three players for the Sydney Sixers for the last six years. Had and a he's wonderful... extremely self deprecating and a very 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 good cricketer. So Australia's going to India for the tests next year. I think it's September October. I yeah. think it is. Um, and the last time Australia went there, Steve O'Keefe was on that tour and he did really well. Um, he took. 12, 12, 12, 12, for, 12 for it, Pune, when Pune, Australia went yeah. one nil up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Smith got 100 in that game as yeah, well. That yeah, that was yeah. one of the great hundreds as well. And, then, Steve, they, Steve and Smith... then they stopped that series, and Australia won that series. Yeah. After that. Much that in the actually... same way that this game's going on, Pez, which we've hardly addressed, but I was just having too much fun. And I hope you guys out there are enjoying it as well. I know a couple of thousand of you are still watching, but uh, this has been a fucking gripping first hour of test match cricket. 45 mm. well, runs. First session. Uh, three down. Incredible. Fucking yeah. Man. Look at Bear. So, yeah, touch We've strayed. I don't you know. sort of do you sort of wish we'd watch this a bit more closely, a uh, little bit. Oh, but no, but like, but like, what do you want from your cricket? Because like, I partially want just like just having a chat with your mates and just having a laugh. And the cricket's on, and it's high level cricket. And I've been watching it. Anderson skill level high. Yeah. I tell you, what, Rohit Sharma is doing the business here because Rohit obviously averages about four yeah. away from home, but at but eight thousand. Um, Yes. In India, but right. he is doing a great job opening the batting. Uh, when I see and, Rohit's twelve off sixty eight at yeah, Headingley, I think respect. I think Rohit's here. He he's, he's Ro, 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 You know, whenever you transcend yourself for the other, yeah. Rohit is now Rohit's doing. This is the thing about India. What's that? Like, if something goes wrong for India, yeah, there's so, someone else. Someone else does something. Someone that you else. Don't, that, someone else. That I'm you, someone else that you didn't think could do it. Sam Curran cheating there. Oh, uh, wow. Cheating. We only had about 17 uh, questions from the chat asking for match-fixing stories from Stock. From Stock. Fucking hell. <laughs> from the IPL. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting because, like, I fucking – Big Sam Curran no ball spot fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Every time there's a no ball and yeah. the way they show it with the side-on angle yeah. at slow motion, you go, oh, okay. Oh, i got to yeah. say, though, Muhammad Amir's one in 2010 or whatever that was. I mean, then when it was like he was bowled out halfway down the pitch, that was a big – He did a favour to everybody yeah. who bowled no balls. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I wonder if you get paid in match fixing by the length of the no ball. You know what I mean? Because you're actually doing the industry a favour. The longer the no ball, mm. the more other cheaters can actually just bowl back. It's like, if you want me to bowl a meter no ball, right, 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 right. I want to be paid a lot because when I just go overstep by a couple of inches, what? people won't mm. suspect me because mm. Amir's no ball is the match fixing no ball now. You know what I mean? Oh, I see. And everything I within see. that distance yeah, 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 now yeah, yeah. is mm. okay. Oh, that's just a normal yeah, no yeah, ball because yeah, yeah, yeah. Amir's well, is the match fixing no ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, I still remember. Going running round Dremoyne Oval with salmon butt with 
Oh, good nick. Good right. nick. That's a good nick. Mate, soft hand. That's soft the thing hands. about India. What's that? They know how to. They soft hand on a nick. They know how to nick. Real late block soft hand area. Oh, now Joe Root's injured. Ooh, well, well, shit. well. Rahane's yeah. done it again with the eyes. Here we go. He's nicked it. Here we go. This is the only thing we'll commentate. Mm. A late block. Soft hand Nick, and there and goes thumbed Joe Root. Thumb. Thumbed him. Thumbs gone. He's and now he knows. Thumbed him. He Thumbelina. Knows. Wow, there's a series. <laughs> there goes the series. The series. I oh. already th- India's already got 10 too many here. There's a someone, series. Someone commented, I didn't see your name. I apologize. But someone said, he's what, got, oh, fuck, what's he's the running? He's off. off. There. He's fucking he's off. Fucking... That could be. Okay, you can't dislocate That's your webbing. Thumb. That's webbing. That's, nah, That's if, webbing. That you, you break your thumb, your broken thumb, six weeks. Okay. You fucking listen. Okay? Let's listen to Rebel hey, News. Hey, hey, I've had a drink. <laughs> Rebel News. You're on Rebel yeah. News. Yeah, coronavirus. Is it real? I don't know. Um, I can't see it. Therefore, <laughs> Will Jackson says skeletons. Indeed. Oh, Ollie Pope's on. Ollie Pope. Great to see him back in the fold. No, someone someone commented before, Pez, and they said, um, what's a good score? What's a good score in this session? A good score would be two, I reckon. If India, well, managed, tell you they, what, mate, if but- India make it to, they got 15 minutes, they get three down. Given the way that the ball's behaved in this session, three down is okay. That's him smashing on the thumb. That's not webbing. He's he, he's actually cooked there. It was webbing, was it? It wasn't webbing. It's, it was it, thumb. It, it looked like point. Could be broken thumb. Oh, point was it? I yeah. didn't see it. Sorry. They look. You don't run like that. Didn't look like it run was off. in in the webbing. And thumb, you can't dislocate thumb. You can. It's broken bone, and that's fucking. I got more comments. Of, um, people who were involved in the Dinesh Kartik game have written in again. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Wait. so. How many people are involved in this game? Well, twenty-two. But so I've got I've, I've got the guy that got him out saying, "Can you send on that my favorite part to it all of the dismissal of Dines Kartik mm. wearing a KKR gold lid mm-hmm. in the uh, you know village stronghold of Wormsley?" Yeah, it's Wormsley. Yeah, it's a good league. My favorite part to it all was that their opening bowler, their opening bowler, was so confident in Dinesh that he showered and suited after five overs into the second innings, which Dinesh was batting in, to only have to come in at 11, cop some abuse about whether he would shower again and then get clean bowled. Potentially a more satisfying wicket than getting Dinesh out. Holy shit. Which this guy got him as well. Holy shit. So so, you- so, so this guy's like, oh, we've got Dinesh Kardik. We're fine. Opening bowler. He's got his gold. KKR lid on. Well, as you would. We open the bowling first innings. We got Dinesh Kartik. How good is this? All innings fucking Dinesh Kartik. Apparently didn't even feel the slips. Where's keeper? I don't think he kept. I, honestly, I think I've got that. Like he wasn't even, he wasn't didn't feel. Sir Paul Getty 11 shit. And he <laughs> And like, we got Kartik. Right, we got Cardiac, yeah. He's got his KKR lid, and people are right to ask, how did he have that lid there? Everyone, okay, have you seen the comments? People were saying, people were saying, not, not in this, but people during the last video, people were saying like, no, apparently what he did was he got the younger guys of the Indian tour to take his kit over, i.e., namely, Washington Sundar. That's the rumor. He got Washington Sundar to take his kit over. Unbelievable. Because he's going directly from England to the UAE. But I don't understand why he wouldn't get it just sent there. Like he has the capacity, I'm sure, to get that sense there. What if CIA with it? stuff for cricket? So apparently, the Indian team, and this is pure speculation. I've done no research on this, but what people have said to me is that he got Washington Sundar to take her on the Indian plane over because they have no luggage allowance, which to me doesn't make any sense. They must have luggage allowance because that's a, that's not like a that's not a that's not a hierarchy thing. It's a plane weight thing, so the thing can fucking take off. But people, like multiple people have said, no, he got Washington Sunday to take it over because they had like no weight restrictions on their private plane. <laughs> so Kanye said, play Washi. Oh, yay, because Kanye's going to change his name to yay legally, apparently. Are you guys looking forward to Donda? I am. Oh, shot, row hit. Fuck, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really it's a, just a big, he's thick, waited the whole time. thick boy with a big, thick bat. Man. He's got a real sleeper at the moment. Real sleeper. It looks like he's got, he's, it looks like he's batting with a sleeper. Yeah. Except he's on 12. Hey, Rohit could be 12 off two overs. He could score 100 quicker than running a ball off lunch. That's what nice. about Headingley being specifically like what's it doing upstairs? Like what's what's the big guy yeah, doing it's upstairs? A cloud, it's a cloud thing. <laughs> it's a religious thing. It's about Clouderson. Yeah. It's cloud, yeah, James Clouderson. 
<laughs> That's so all, all Vaughn said. Yeah, it's the greatest fucking. It's, it's the it's the dumbest and so best. Pez and I obviously football fans like Premier League fans, and we laugh all the time about like the laziness of like just re reappropriating mm. stadium names yeah. or player names with like yeah. the things that you hate. It's like the Etihad being the empty head, empty head, as an example. James Clouderson. Mm. <laughs> But it's actually, it's funny because it's quite smart in a way. It's like, because you need to yeah. understand that he bowls well when there are when clouds. Because you need to scientifically know that it you swings, even though that's not scientifically proven and yet mm. we know that it's true. So it's a mm. sort of a, it's an old wives tale that proves itself correct. Even though science doesn't back the idea that clouds mean anything for swing, which is why we should yeah. always question the vaccine. Joking. <laughs> Get vaccinated. <laughs> And you guys are doing that. Hey, Pez and Jesus I, Christ. Pez and I both have the jab, and there's 5G streaming right through this bitch, let me tell you. Um, is Warney the Kanye of cricket? Probably. Or is he, or is he more Rihanna? I don't know. Kind of like. Uh, we're not ready to talk about Premier League yet. I'm putting that up. Premier League, yeah, not yet. It's, it's, it's actually too much going on this session to talk about Premier League yet. Well, we can just say with the teams we support. It's boring, though. Yeah, of course, yeah, but that's. I support Liverpool, Pez supports Man United. Felix says, lads, this is rare. Yeah, it is. Well, like, what do you expect? It, like, what, what do you like, want? What, like, did you expect, what? like, oh, no, I want, like, an proper analysis, ball exactly. by ball. Yeah. Do you want that? What's, oh, what's, can... what's the risk position of yeah. Shaheen Afridi in the last test? Why don't we like, do? What, what are we doing here? Like, you're you're on the do... grade cricketer. Why don't we do proper analysis for one over okay. and see if people like it? Okay. Can you put it to me in grade terms? I could, I'll do both. <laughs> Tom, I'll do. Tom Denny said, defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm not defensive. You're defensive. Is this what you want? You want You want fucking. <laughs> David Brent said, Leeds are doing well. <laughs> That's out. That fucking looks out. Okay. Do you, want to, do you want to do one over of like okay. fucking Robinson? Next over. Next over. There's one ball left in this over. Okay, one ball left. Yeah. What, so what if, the, if the base says, I'd pull this down, so then, yeah. Do you want to do ball by ball and I do color or vice versa? What do you want? I can do ball by ball. You do the color. No, no, so no, 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 one, no, one no, over of no, the, okay. no, but no, he's like, why not, don't you do it properly? No, we're not. To, okay. Okay. Legally, we can't literally do like bowler running in. We're not going to do that. It's not worth our fucking YouTube channel being down for two weeks. That's correct. Why? We don't get any money from this. Not from this. We don't. Why are you even moving? I don't know. You guys are drunk again. No, no, no. Won't work, guys. There is a delay. That's a good point. That's actually a really practical point, Vinit Nair. It won't work, yeah, because you guys are watching from all over the world, so you guys are watching different times. Yeah, they don't want ball by ball. And apologies for right. the camera going out of Zoom just temporarily, but um, yeah. Well, let's go back to whatever the fuck we're talking about, vaccines. Hips of conservative radio hosts in the US are dying from it. Yeah. <laughs> the camera's drunk now, indeed. I mean, Cowan, Ed Cowan said this, friend of the show. You guys saw this. For you guys have stayed for the entire two hours. Test match cricket in England is fucking the best thing ever. There's just contests all the time. And, like, it's not fair that no one can play in the subcontinent except for the subcontinental teams. That's not anyone's fault except for ours. Exactly. That's but, right. But the subcontinental teams adapt so much better away from home yes. that it makes it such an even contest all the time and like for instance 49 for three could next session be three for 170 and then all out 200 it changes so quickly and that's what makes it so engaging like that last test match was so exciting where i felt anyway india was so far behind and then came from like inverted commas nowhere to win the game and that's why it's so good whereas like in other countries it seems especially in australia you win first you get a you win the toss you bat and you score fucking 500, and then the game's dead for like three and a half days. So that's why I enjoy watching cricket in England so much. And also because in Australia, the first session is on, it starts at 8 p.m. in Australia. Perfect. Perfect for my viewing experience. And as we know, cricket is a TV show. Sports a TV show. Liverpool last week, kickoff, 9.30. Perfect. Perfect. 90 minutes. Hey, Overton's in the team. <laughs> India 49 for three. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that was as good as budgiesmuggler.com. That was good. That was good. That, that was, was good. that was nice. That was a, that was a nice comment. 
I think we're hitting a nice little rhythm here. I'd like uh, at this point, I'd like some feedback from the chat, which will um, reserve our rights to judge accordingly. But like, what do you want from this? Do you want Aggers? Do you want Dinesh Karti? Do you want Ravi Shastri? Or do you want Stephen O'Keefe on the fucking screen telling you what it's like to get Virat Kohli out, what he actually thinks about Sam Curran? I mean, please. Peasant Hugo's in the nets. Yes, no name. That's going to happen. It's very cheap, very easy, but we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. You want more sock? I mean, seriously, you got a guy that took 12 for at Pune, 12 for 70. Mm -hmm. He's sitting there in a baggy green with gloves on. I'm sorry. So that's, I shouldn't say this on air. That's but, fucking... I mean, that is value. Sorry. So, there's an that I... is, That's Hitler bunker shit. <laughs> or, as you I, know? or as I call Eagle's Nest. That is that is actually what Steve O'Keefe will be like if you had a beer with him and he's taken 12 for at Pune. I mean, I'll come tell you on. What, if I, it's real life. If I was an internet user, which, as you know, I'm not, but if I logged on, and I saw a guy wearing a fucking baggy green. Oh. After I just heard Ed Cowan talk. Cowan, and before analysis. he came on, Cowan's like, I was going to put it on. Maybe he's just got a little bit more um, diplomacy than Steve O'Keefe. Anyway, Pez and I obviously have plans for the future. And as a couple. It's not, yeah, that's right. It's not a shot from Rahane. That's really nice shot. Um, a little tickle. Is to, yeah, but that's, that's not just a tickle. That's as good a shot as down the ground. I know it's not as alpha. It doesn't mean skill, as much skill, culturally. Skill. But not, he, not culturally. When you feel that off your bat, yeah, yeah, yeah. doing that, Perfect. that feels every bit the he's, same he's as down fucking, the ground. He's middled that. That's it's really a nice. Tickle, a tickle's a lie. He's he knows middled exactly that. what he's doing. He's middled that. Beautiful shot. And test match players play that off Mate. middle and leg, whereas Dude, like in grey cricket, soft. in grey cricket, I'm not even using my bat. It's up here, and I'm kicking it. I'm kicking it off the stumps. And that's why Dad never came back from the shops. <laughs> and you'll never get that on TMS. Yeah. <laughs> or Sony. Um love you, Sony. If anyway, you want to talk. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna try and develop this as a you know as a thing later. And we just really hope that you guys have enjoyed the last couple of hours or so. There's obviously another over probably after this before we um wrap it up for the evening. We'll be back tomorrow morning for the daily, obviously. Um and then hashtag us just say fire on patreon.com forward slash great cricket if that's how you guys want to join. Oh, you can also join the YouTube as well. You can go to our YouTube channel, like, literally click the join button and uh and get around it. Yeah, ROP proper analysis. Yeah, it, this this is this is the way of the future. This is the way people consume their sport in the future. Um, anyway, yeah, it's really cool that you guys were able to uh, uh, watch this for the last couple of hours. We've really enjoyed it. Well, I've enjoyed it. I'm gonna and I'll now speak for you, Sam. No comment. He says, "Sorry, I was looking at a message from someone else, more important than you." That's fair. Sorry, I'm punt. <laughs> really? Hey, he was nearly going to come on. Ah, that's he, cool. his kids are busy. Ah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. He's a nice guy. And I'll be the arbiter of who is and isn't a nice guy. Mm. Um, On air broadcasting. Maybe we give a, like, how do you guys feel that this day is going to go? I don't care about the test match, the day. What does is, what is India finish the day with? Are they going to be all out? They've done well here in India. I think India's done okay. They're fucking, fucking two for shit. Two yeah. for absolute shit. Mate, and also Rahane is fucking banning for his place. Mate, when that's you, another four. When you walk off at, at lunch, and fucking headingly up north, and it's fucking, fucking and, and it's fucking Clouderson and Clouderson's got Coley. Yeah, and you're three down in the empty head. Is it, is it okay? We've lost three, three in yeah. three in the first session. Yeah, very manageable. Four <laughs> is a massive yeah. win to the bowling Four wins. Side. Four wins. Two is even. One is win to the batting side. Th three in headingly is like we can we can get this back. I think three's. You, I think three's even. Nah, three three's still bowling in side. in this condition. If if England won the toss no, and bowled, but, it's even. But India won the toss I know and, and batted. Yeah. You don't you don't win the toss and bat and go, I expect to be three down. No, he didn't. thought it was hard. Yeah. He 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 wanted got he wanted to be the in. Wicket. He wanted like yeah. He won the toss and he thought it was hard. Yes. He wanted to be he wanted to be in at lunch, co coach. That's why England cricket is so good. Everything you think is right, it's like it's it's not as easy as you think. Except for in 2002 when they play here in India, made 628 for eight. You got to wait till both teams bat on it. That's true. And yeah, we learned that two years ago. Fuck me, I'm still not over that. I'm still not over that. What happened two years ago? I got to tell you, um, it's the most I've ever felt in a game. Yeah, 
It's the most I've ever felt, yeah. and I and I want and that for we, my sport. And, and then when we um recorded for TJC, yeah, everyone was just really fucking up for that. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's nicked off. He's got him. Fucking wow. Hell. He's got there the you go. That's England session. Right That's England hell. session. England, England win. There you go. England win Four. the series. See you wow. Later. England win the series. Wow. You I'll know tell what? You what? We went too early with England. I tell yeah. you what. Wow. That's Test cricket. There you go. Look at that. Look at that, India. Look at you guys. You guys thought that the Asian century had begun. I mean, mate, I got it, mate. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Props yeah, go. to England. Props, yes, because they've come out and they fucking performed. This is a great first session for England. Brilliant, brilliant bowling. He's what about Joe, what about Joe Root? Like, oh, what would you have done? And he said, ah, "You never know." That's how he sounded. And that's lunch. And that's lunch. And that's lunch. And that's lunch. That's the last action before. Lunch. Look at this. He, what's my nails looking like? There we go. <laughs> That's what coach is thinking. Fuck! Is it? <laughs> Win the toss, never bat. <laughs> That's cricket, boys. Uh, Come on. It's real life. It's real life. India will come back. There's fucking five days. England you know? have put a spell in there. That's a stint. That's a stint. Mo and Ali got some overs in there for some reason. I'm not really, really sure why. He bowled, he bowled two I think Sock got it straight away. This is a change. No, he bowled two overs though. You're right. I don't know. Get him in the game. Tell you what, that's it. <laughs> Look that's at that. Big. Four snicks, Butler. Four catches. There you go. Oh, what do we reckon? What do we reckon? As the viewers, yeah, they're going down. Well, uh, fuck, you know. That's life. That's life. That's life. <laughs> that's life. Um. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up there, I guess, as it's lunch. Um. Thank you so much to all the people that have enjoyed uh, the last two and a bit hours. Thanks for getting around it. We're going to do this again at another point. Um, this was just a little test to see what the engagement was like, to see if you guys enjoyed it. Hey, let us know. Uh, let us know if you've enjoyed that. If you've enjoyed it, maybe shoot us a DM on social media. Leave a comment right now um, and let us know if you've enjoyed it, what we could do differently, what we could do better, what you liked, what you didn't like. I don't know. Just say some stuff if you've enjoyed it. Pair of Bogans, obviously, from uh, Whale Oil Beef Hooked. Yep. Okay. So that's, that's the internet. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys don't do any more live. So, okay. Is that a good way to end it? <laughs> <laughs> Always. I hate it when my dad jumps online. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to be back on YouTube tomorrow um, to do the wrap up of the day's play. Um, hashtag RCDC Fridays is going to come out, obviously, on Friday. That's on patreon.com forward slash grow cricket or also YouTube, uh, the membership as well. Um, but we'll be back again. Thank you so much for supporting us and getting around it and for watching this last, past couple of hours. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. And can yeah, I say, please. we will chat about when we'll be next back doing this yeah. based on everything been you guys fun. say and whatever. This has been fun. Could be a last day thing. Could be the next test. Could be later than that. Could be the IPL. Cheers. <laughs>